All right. Wait, is that the right live link? It isn't. Dang it. <laughs> Whoops. That is the correct live link. Okay. Things got a little weird because I, uh... I forgot to click the end stream button last night, which I, I do rarely, but that does happen. And uh, <laughs> it it was giving me trouble creating a new stream because YouTube's system for live streams is really stupid. So I initially tweeted out the wrong YouTube live link, but it, it's fixed now. All right. Hey, Cloud. Hey, Gander. Hey, C colon. Hey, Foamed. How do my do teams do tonight? You probably know how well my team did tonight. <laughs> but hey, Zion. Zion was impressive, at least. My fucking Clippers lost to the Hawks. <laughs> and my Lakers almost lost to the Knicks. Oh, boy. This is... The Marwind? Huh. It's an interesting take on... On Marwin theme. But sure. Hey, Hidden. Hello, Matt. All right. You love Marwin. I don't. <laughs> oh, Marwin. It certainly is a game. Okay. All right. I think I, I figured out why Peepo, uh, Peepo was still on vacation the last uh, couple streams. It's it's because when I changed my, uh, I changed my audio devices because I added another, um, another twenty eight channels of input to uh, to my recording setup. Every time I make a change in Windows, it uh, it shuffles things around. And I set the the microphone correctly as as mic one two, which is what this goes into. But it didn't set the default communication device to that, so it that that's why people wasn't working. So I figured it out. It was a bigger pain than I thought it would be, but of course it's these little tiny details that if just something's wrong, then nothing works. Ah, oh, God. All right. Hello, LCC. All right, let's let's get going here. Hey, Shio. All right, so gunship, PlayStation, 1996, flight, developed by Microprose Pros and published by Microprose. Pros. So 96 would have been early PlayStation, and like I I mentioned a lot recently, the real shovelware of the PlayStation is this this type of game, the realistic flight combat games. Um, like earlier 16-bit 8-bit systems, the shovelware of those was like character platformers. For PlayStation, it is absolutely flight combat games. There's just so many, so many of these on the system, and they're all just really generic, and most of them are not great. Uh, there are some exceptions, um, like the Ace Combat games. Those are great. And maybe G-Police? But that's about it. There's there's like 40 others though. So we got we got plenty to do. All right, gunship. So this is that's that's an AH-64 longbow, I think, and that's that's also one. And then that's that's some other chopper, and that's a a cobra. I right, I guess. All right. Gunship, any more real be classified. 
Arcade mode for fast hunts and kill action. Campaign mode for hours of incredibly real helicopter combat. <sighs> Realistic flight models, threats, and weapons, such as the latest Gatling guns, capital G Gatling, rockets, missiles, and anti-attack weapons. Choose from the AH-64A Apache, the UH-60K Blackhawk, AH-66B Comanche, or and four other authentic U.S. Army attack helicopters. All right. Day and night missions in Central Europe and the Persian Gulf. Okay. We got uh, some screenshots here. This this looks like it probably could have been a DOS game. <laughs> oh, God. So we got... Uh, yeah. Co-pilot, we're hit. We're taking damage. Incoming front. Uh, yep. That's probably going to be seeing that a lot during this. Uh... So that's, that's probably a friendly air base, looks like. Sure. Using kilometers and degrees and all that. Yeah. And then this is probably the arcade mode. Because it's got score and and all that stuff in the, the corners. And it's got this cool in-cockpit view. So sure. Sure. Yep, helicopter pros. They, uh, they too have played that... Uh, uh, that Battlefield 1942 mod, whatever that was, years ago. <laughs> uh, all right, one player, one memory card block. That's refreshing to see for a 1996 game. Uh, for a game of this scope, you'd think it would take like five, five or six memory card blocks for a 96 game, but nope, one block. That, that's that's very nice. Microprose was recently purchased. Uh, huh? Yeah, I haven't I haven't heard of that. Was it their back catalog or uh, all they got? Okay, and then in inside the CD case behind the manual is the the ad for Top Gun Fire at Will. So another fantastic flight combat game for uh, for the PlayStation. Just just one of many for butt kicking. And then here's what the the disc looks like. That's a that's pretty pretty cool looking disc. It's um it's pretty much the front cover art except just embossed on the front so yeah that looks pretty cool all right and then the the advertisement for it got the same advertising copy as the uh the back of the cd case uh ba -ba -ba -ba. looks like everything's the same there the screenshots are two out of the three are different but the one in the middle or no two of the three are the same those are the same as the back of the box this one's different and this one's not in arcade mode so it looks like we get proper cockpit mode in uh in those as well okay so uh, i couldn't find a manual for this one so our manual is going to be going to be this this is our manual <laughs> probably gonna need that oh boy okay so let's uh let's get going here Alrighty. Gunship, huh? Yep, it's, it's going to be a very useful manual, I think. All right. All right. 4 di transitions, boys. It sounds like we're getting a little bit of crackling again, but it's not that bad in this game, so we'll just, we'll just leave it as is. Some games do that. I don't know why. Maybe they run at some weird... Uh, weird sample rates. <clears throat> hey, Cyrus. Hey, Ed. Okay. So we got quick fire game... We got quick fire high scores, options, main game. So they, this is this is quite the uh, the main menu, by the way. <laughs> it's like 
<laughs> it looks like a, a 90s website. Okay, so uh, I mentioned this yesterday, but um, uh, yeah, we are we are clearly in violation of this EULA, right? <laughs> right here. <laughs> no performance. Fuck. Micro, micro pros is gonna be after me. Uh, yeah, and the main game, the main campaign is at the bottom of the, the screen for some reason. All right, so toggle views, collective up and down. So so the sh right shoulder buttons are go up and down, which that makes sense. Uh, MFD is the uh, it's the main screen, the big screen in front of you. Toggle views must be the toggle the the cockpit cam in third person. Uh, select up and fire weapon. Okay. Waypoint target. And then there's also the select functions. So if you hold down select in this game, you also get all of this shit too. So I, I remember Wing Commander, Wing Commander 3 did this, where it would use every single button on the controller and then it, it would also do that as well if you held down select. So great. We're going to have to remember all this. So there, there is this, by the way. There's Accelerate Time, which probably going to be really useful for the uh, uh, for the campaign later. Uh, and also Autopilot, but I have a feeling a lot of these... Um, a lot of these probably uh, not going to be useful in, like, Arcade. Uh, so then the other... Thing it gives, gives us. So that maps the, the firing on the shoulder button, which eh, probably not going to worry about that. Alright, I, I think we'll just go with one. Alright, adjust sound. Chopper sound. So you can you can turn off the chopper sound, apparently. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but sure. Speech on, obviously. Okay. So this menu is in 4DI, by the way, so that's why the text looks uh, looks a little weird. Okay, let's do it. Quick fire game. Daytime Europe, nighttime Europe. Daytime Persian Gulf, or nighttime Persian Gulf. So let's, let's just start at the top here with daytime Europe. All right. So hopefully the entire game, or the rest of the game. Yeah, the shaking. Yep. And the, whenever the OSSC Pro comes out, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna build one of those pretty much immediately when it comes out. Uh, the shaking will not be a thing anymore. Okay. Incoming left. Incoming front. Target dead ahead. Okay. Oh jeez! All right, there's 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 a chopper. Get him! Got him! What is what is MFD doing? This is they throw a lot of stuff at you all at once. So that, all right. So Stinger is air to air. Enemy chopper. Incoming front. Target right. All right. Toad gun. Hellfire. Target left. Incoming front. 
Okay, if I hold down... Incoming right. Objective sighted. All right, holding down select and, and X. Enemy chopper. All right, auto hover. Left. Target. Oh God. Friendly target. Target left. Incoming. Right. Oh wait, we don't have infinite ammo. I, I just noticed that bottom center of the screen is uh. Just how much ammo? Oh geez, I thought I was using the. Target right. I, I don't know what's going on here. Incoming left. Got him. Incoming. Sh sure. Incoming left. Target right. All right. So just like, just like most games of the era, having any smoke on screen, it looks like, makes the frame rate get real good. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right. Well, at least it's a, a relatively stable frame rate, as bad as it is. It could be worse. Enemy aircraft. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure what that WOC in the... Upper left is? Oh, okay. We need the stinger for... Okay. I'm not even sure if this has a an ending to it. It's probably just keep going until you until you blow up, I guess. Oh. Okay, stinger air to air. Target dead ahead. Enemy chopper. Incoming right. Incoming. Okay, there's a bullet hole in our canopy. Target right. All right, so it doesn't look like so the the missiles don't behave like. Most of the other arcade flight, uh, flight games do. It looks like they pretty much always hit. As long as we have the the lock. Assuming if this hits, then huh? I don't know. All right. Well, let's let's turn off the rotor then. One of these buttons. Okay, where's the map? All right. Cool. Orders destroy BTR eighty. All right. Well, where's where's BTR eighty? <laughs> uh. Okay, let's let's look for BTR eighty then I guess. Target dead ahead. Objective sighted. There it is. Alright. Objective. There's our objective. We're hit. Demo low. It's coming front. We're hit. It's coming right. You nailed him. Destroyed. Incoming left. Enemy oh. chopper. Target so, so we did have objectives. Incoming Just... right. Enemy aircraft. We're Whoops. Incoming front. Enemy chopper. SA-13. Target right. Yeah, this might as well be a DOS game. Incoming right. Target dead All right, dead. so we're... What's our objective? SA-13.
Eh? I... Target dead ahead. Target left. Oh man. Yep, Sierra one. Get get ten on the phone. That random gun emplacement is our enemy chopper. Our objective, apparently. Target left. So I'm not sure what those those like PT PTW in the bottom center. That one's red, and that's Target right. Incoming front. Probably not good that that's red. Autopilot program. CSU 23. There's four of them. I don't think we're going to be able to. Enemy chopper. Target right. Target there it is. Ahead. Incoming front. Enemy chopper. Yep. All right. Well, this is this has certainly got a whole lot more things going on on the screen than some of the other flight combat games. And if the if the campaign mode is as complex as this, then that that could be okay. Like there's there's really only so much you can do. With uh, the limited controller. Enemy aircraft. Incoming right. Enemy chopper. Am I out of hellfires? I'm out of hellfires. Incoming right. Out of those. Sure. Shot a stinger missile at that ground target. I'm sure, that'll be fine though. Enemy chopper. Incoming right. Wait, how's that two kilometers away? I thought I... Okay. Alright, at least we can speed up time. And then the last one is northwest from here. Eh? Target right. What is our destroy infantry? Okay. Enemy chopper incoming left. Target dead ahead. I'm just gonna spin around until it's, it's probably like right below me. Oh, it made the, the FPS 8. Nice. Where? Uh. Okay, so it's it's south southwest from here. Okay. Apparently, it's it's like. Oh. There it is. Okay. Oh no. Just incoming rear. Incoming front. Enemy aircraft. Enemy chopper. All right. Hold down on this fire button until this works out. Okay. So it's not until. Okay. That's a promotion. Target dead ahead. 
So this is this is probably just go till you get a high score. Sure. Enemy aircraft. Oh man, it seems like it, it's slightly more responsive in third person. Slightly. Okay, so this is 15 FPS. Like it. I don't know. All right, end me, enemy helicopters. Enemy chopper. Incoming left. Oh. Target dead ahead. So I'm in autopilot mode, apparently. Incoming front. Incoming right. Incoming left. All right, autopilot. Enemy chopper. Target right. Target dead ahead. Target left. That's our target. Toad gun. And I... Right. Toad gun. Okay. Nice. Target left. The target is somewhere. All right. North. Enemy chopper. Incoming right. Here? I guess. Incoming left. We're hit. Enemy aircraft. So I'm locked on to Toad Gun. Enemy chopper. Wherever that is, though, I have no idea. My uh, my radar isn't working. Target dead ahead. Enemy aircraft. Huh. Incoming right. Enemy chopper. Incoming front. Incoming left. We're hit. Eh? Yeah, it goes to, what, 10 FPS whenever I turn on autopilot? I guess it makes sense, because it's it's got to... It's got to update the... All the incredible AI, I guess, in the game and, and what they're doing. So am I just... Am I... So I, I don't have a targeting thing anymore now? So as you take damage, I guess it shuts down your HUD. Exiting combat zone. I am? Exiting the combat zone. Incoming left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the uh Target dead ahead. Yeah, it must be that. Pointing to the target. The two S6, wherever that is. Incoming rear. Like I am I'm hitting the So there's... Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's see. So here's the, the pause menu. Okay. Bearing 234. Best choice, a sidearm? Okay. Sure. Worst choice, penguin. Okay. Salvo size. So you can just dump everything. The low limit. All right, let, let's get real low. Jettison weapons. All right. So that's Incoming left. that's the limit at which it beeps at you, maybe. Enemy chopper. Okay. We're going but it doesn't it doesn't keep you from going low if you don't want to. Oh, wait. I, I jettisoned my cannon, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, blast him with the pistol like this is quarantine. Just look out the window and and start dumping. Alright, is there collision with with things? No? It seems? Target dead ahead. Target right. Enemy aircraft. So in simulation mode, that's probably not a thing. Enemy chopper. Because <laughs> you just you, you just slide over. <laughs> All right. What about these? What about these hills? Incoming 
Yep, and those just fly right through you. So already better than bogey, bogey dead six. We can't run into terrain. We can't, uh, we can't run into the other craft. But it's probably different in the, the campaign mode. This is the arcade mode. All right, let's, uh, press start to terminate. Okay. All right, well, that was, that was very exciting. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what the the simulation mode is then. Okay, and I I was trying to die there, and the game wouldn't let me die. Oh man! Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if there if there's an, even an end to. All right, second lieutenant. Ah. Uh... Fifty four hundred four hundred tanks blown up. All right, now I'm kind of curious if there's different uh, different videos that we can see. So this was this was a 1991 DOS game it, from the looks of things, with the the 1991 Microprose uh, copyright. All right, let's let's try Nighttime Europe and just immediately abandon it. And see if anything's different. With uh, well, first let's see if the the frame rate's any better. <laughs> For one, just because it's nighttime. Hmm. But yeah, the the music in this not bad. I I dig it. Well, honestly, I'm not sure like what your your choices would be realistically for a like combat game. All right, well the frame rate was decent, and then and then it turned into this again. Game pizza. All right, so we'll we'll take out at least one objective. One's our objective. Uh, so I got to turn northwest. Target dead ahead. Okay, so it, yeah, it shows that the Front. the top center of the compass. Objective sighted. Friendly target. Okay, and then your your current Destroy. selected target. Front. target right. Is like those two. Uh, those two arrows on the uh, on the compass, which is different from your from your objective. Okay, southwest. Okay. Target. This way. Target dead ahead. Target destroyed. Shit, you can you can hit those from <laughs> very far away. Uh, it's my BMP one. It's a BMP two. Objective sighted. We're taking damage. Incoming left. Target. Okay, this is this is going a lot more smoothly now that I know what my objectives are. Destroyed. All right. Target dead ahead. Mm. Is that my objective? BMP two. Target. I almost just shot my own airbase. Okay. Incoming rear. Objective sighted. We're taking damage. So it looks like the game Incoming. doesn't know what to do if you hold down multiple buttons at once. Especially for the uh, the select stuff. Incoming. Okay, so we got promoted. Let's uh see if this is any different. Right. Oh. And 
Any different? Or maybe it's only for high scores? Okay, this is the same video. All right. Wait. Different video. No, no, same video. Okay. Sure. Okay. So that that was the two uh, European ones. Uh. Yep, we didn't didn't make high score. Dang. Oh shucks. Um. Okay, I want to try daytime Persian Gulf then, and and I'm just gonna immediately exit it and see if the see if that video is any different because maybe the the two European ones um share the same video, and then we'll get going on the campaign, which according to the back of the box is. Uh, hours. Hours camping. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Let's see if this is any different. Looks the same to me. Alright, so just give you this generic... Here's some 3D tanks things. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Time for the campaign. Which, again, very weird that the main game is at the bottom of this menu. <laughs> But I guess this is this might be the same layout as the the PC version. Like I'm trying to think. For a lot of DOS games, come to think of it, the the like start for the ones that had buttons on them, I think some of them did have start game at the bottom. So maybe this is just the same as the the PC version. Hmm. All right. All right, that's us. We are a WC John Doe. Okay. So duty roster, theater, the tree, mission type, brief. Maybe this is where we save in the duty roster. Top cat, dead eye, kiwi, bear, and erase me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, uh, huh? Erase me. Yeah, the interlacing is, th th this is very interlaced. Like, I know, I am aware. <laughs> I am very aware that this is interlaced. Uh... Oh baby, these these non-standard save menus. Erase me. All right, G. That's probably the the save icon as well, and that's that's a little disappointing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this doesn't have a format memory card option. I'm a little disappointed in that too, because usually games like this, for like early PS1, they don't. Uh, or they give you the option to format your card. Okay. Alright, we are John Doe. It doesn't even let you name yourself in this game. Alright, so our DA tree is the Gulf. I'm pretty sure it's just Gulf or Europe. Yep. Alright, so we'll we'll be in the Gulf. Mission type. Training mission. Single mission. So campaign missions grayed out? Currently open to me. Okay. All right. Let's let's do a training mission. 
Okay, let's do it. Ops number training. Warden officer candidate Doe. Call sign Victor. Proceed to 11 slash 14. And engage and destroy the platoon. Secondary is proceed to 0609. Base is at 1111. The FARP is... I, I don't speak helicopter. So I, I don't know what to make of a lot of this. But sure. All right, mission difficulty. Crack. Enemy quality poor. The bottom of the barrel. Not much of a threat. Run of the mill everyday troops. Crack troops. Aggressive and clever. And then elite. Best of the best. Go to any lengths. Sure. CP slash G control? Uh, CP slash G will automatically fire all selected non-cannon weapons. He'll also... Respond quickly. Oh, so we have a weapons officer. All right. Uh, so you could either have them do weapons and countermeasures or just countermeasures. So this, so if you select this, you just have to have to fly the helicopter and shoot the, shoot the, the regular gun. And sure, fine. Visibility. Visiononics. <laughs> Is, wait, is is this a word? Is is visiononics even a thing? I'm a professor of visiononics. Visiononics. See, even even Peepo doesn't think that's a word. All right, realistic wind. Vector flight performance landing's a little more tricky. All right, well we'll keep that. So this this is apparently the the default settings, and difficulty is. So landings, realistic, or no crash. Landings will be perfect. I, huh. Realistic. Stay alert and watch your... Oh, God. Well, we can... We can try some of these other things later. When we're not on the clock here. But we'll leave that on defaults, I think. All right. Uh, onboard and outboard stores. All right. Can we change the a cooler helicopter? So there's the Apache, and then there's the Longbow Apache. Restricted to captain or above. Okay. Super Cobra. All right. A defender. Mount deadly mix of rockets or more rockets. A scout. A masterful fighter in its own right. It doesn't have any weapons. What's it going to fight with? Sharp sticks. Blackhawk. Okay. Assault. The Comanche. There we go. Oh, right, well, we can't use that yet. So there's two different Comanches? They're, what? One has landing gear? What? Alright, I guess we're, we're rolling with that then. Uh, adjust fuel? Why does that matter? Why would you... Huh. Alright, let's do it. So our, our objective is to... Proceed to 11-11-14. Eleven eleven Whatever that is. Sure. Alright. And we just need to proceed there, and then my, my weapons officer will give him the business for me, I guess. That's, uh... Love games that have a spinning CD as the loading. Okay. This. All 
All right, so P is for primary. Oh man, there's a lot more stuff on this than before. Okay, so north of us is that. Then we'll, we'll set a waypoint for here. Okay. Turn to base, okay. All right. So hitting L1 doesn't really do anything. So four Hellfires and empty. It looks like we do have limited cam cannon ammo, so I can't just start dumping that thing. Okay. So I, I tried a little bit of the, the next game, by the way, of, uh, uh, was it Machine Head or whatever it is? Oh boy. Oh man, that one's gonna be real fun. Hey, boys. Yeah, this this does look like an NES game or a SNES game. That's because this is this was originally a 1991 DOS game, so it makes sense. Uh, okay, so there's toad gun over here. All right, so that's that's my weapons officer doing that. Yep, it makes sense. I saw you're playing, you're playing uh, Stranglehold, Boyks. What a great game that was! I got that and played that when it came out. Fantastic game. I've never even seen the movie is based on either. <laughs> That's just, I just had to get it because it looks so ridiculous. There's our objective. All right. Weapons officers on the case. I'm just gonna fly nearby them. Keep... All right, GG. I probably need to do the... Destroy the mobile scud site over, over here. this into fast forward mode watch that frame rate get real good yeah hard boiled actually i Incoming. come to think of it i can't <sighs> didn't the special edition of stranglehold come with a copy of the movie right okay it looks like i can oh. I haven't thought about Stranglehold in like 10 years, but I could have sworn right. it came with the movie. Yeah, it did come with the movie, right? Yep. I knew it. Incoming right. This, this objective is really far away. Incoming rear. Incoming right. Incoming rear. Incoming right. You gotta watch it. It, it. It's pretty much the game. It might as well just be the game in movie form. Because I, I was trying to think of when I actually saw Hard Boiled, and that, that was where I saw it. Like, I got the special edition that came with the movie. <laughs> Man, what a great game. Oh, ammo low on what? Oh my god. Weapons officer, are you just wasting all my ammo? Incoming left. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. You're right, Hidden. Enemy chopper. I'm I'm totally okay with the with the game handling the battles in an otherwise uninteresting. Yeah, let's just. Enemy chopper. Ammo low. All right. Get him with the. Incoming. Whatever that is. Incoming front. Incoming left. So this is our training mission? So we're looking for scud launchers. Incoming left. Objective sighted. Hmm? Oop. Okay. Ammo low. All right, go get him, weapons officer. Turn to base, so do it. Does this auto? Oh, that just adds a waypoint. Oh, geez. I thought it would finish the mission for me. Incoming front. Incoming left. Okay. Incoming right. Incoming left. Incoming shows up as yellow on the rear. on the radar. Left. Incoming left. Incoming rear. Oh geez! Oh no! Oh no! I turned off the. Oh god! I turned off the rotor. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Shit. So select an R1 is turn off the engine. <laughs> Why you do that, I don't know. Maybe you have to do that to land. Why is this... This cannon just can't hit anything. Okay. Incoming left. Well, yeah, the strike games are arcade games, right? Those are isometric Incoming. arcade action games. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Shit. Incoming rear. <laughs> I must have a helicopter, like, right behind me. Incoming rear. Okay. Incoming rear. Incoming rear. Friendly target. All right. It's a friendly target. Incoming rear. 
I, I, I guess that's the airstrip? Time to land and not blow up. Well, you can you can turn off the engine, and the blades will will just keep going for a little bit. But yeah, obviously you need the. Okay, and then turn off the... Okay, we got rearmed when I turned off the... Okay, so that's that's what that hotkey is for. You have to turn off the engine in order to... to rearm and end the thing. Call it a day. We did it. So we sure got hit by a lot of missiles, but apparently it doesn't matter. So... Sure. Do we get a cool, uh... Alright. Warrant Officer W-1. In recognition of your successful completion of training, you received the National Defense Service Medal. In recognition of your flight abilities, you are awarded Army Aviator Wings. You took extra time on that mission. Overall, good job, but try to shorten your flight time. I... I went straight to the objective and straight to the other objective and then back. Like, how how could I have done that any better? By not turning off my engine accidentally? <laughs> you make all of the missions seem like a milk run. Alright. Well, I did play on easy, so... Cool. Alright, let's save our duty roster. I have a feeling all the missions are going to be pretty much like that. I, I have a hunch. So it makes you... Huh. The prompt is for delete save if you save over the other one, which I... Undo last mission? All right. Also, I didn't notice this, but all the other members of our squadron are missing in action. Except for Erase Me, who's dead. <laughs> uh, oh, was it always like that? Perhaps there's a incredible plot reason for that. Alright, mission type. So we can still only do single mission, not, not flight or campaign? Okay. And we're still in the Gulf. Alright, what's our briefing? Ops number RWN084. 0400 hours, call sign Tango. Proceed to 07 slash 13. Engage and destroy the mobile SCUD site. Secondary intercept T62 mech, mech group. Moving southeast from there, destroy. So, destroy scuds and then destroy tanks. Okay. So, yeah, that's... That sure sounds a whole lot like the... The mission we just did. Except this one isn't a training mission. Uh... Some wingtips? Maybe we, we should get some more. We used up a whole lot of other other things on there, so let's... Okay, so we're at... Sure, this looks right. Okay, and that's us. Over in the, the bottom left. Okay, mission difficulty. 
I'm assuming this is... Oh, it's, it's at one quarter difficulty now. Even though this looks exactly the same as the other ones. So realistic landings versus no crash. Sure, wind is is realistic. Should we make visibility realistic? Your visiononics. Let's do that. Let's make that realistic at least. And then the avoidance system. Oh, so that's the that's the avoidance system. So that you're on your own. Keep alert and stay healthy. <laughs> uh Okay, so that that explains why arcade mode was like was like it was, because it just it has that. Okay, constant lift and limits the effects of ground effect. Oh boy. All right, well we'll let's do this. Yeah, this is Microprose. Yep. Developed and published. Yeah, it it is very nice that they give you very uh very granular control over difficulty. That is always appreciated in uh, in games, and especially in sim games where it's like this one setting makes this unplayable and horrible. So let's turn that off, but leave everything else as is. Friendly target. Okay. All right, so we'll just go. Here, here, and then here. Easy. All right, and we'll keep this on cannon so that our our weapons officer doesn't get any any bright ideas. Hey, Ivy, look good when it came out. Yeah, for for a 1991 game, if it looked like this on PC on DOS. Yeah. This would have been a good-looking 91 game. Considering it, it predates Doom. So there there probably wouldn't have been uh, textures on the ground. Incoming front. Incoming left. All right. Okay, weapon officer. Oh, that's air to air. Fire missed apparently. Incoming front. Okay. There's one down. Alright. Incoming right. Objective sighted. So since we're uh, let me just swing right. Ah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, Coman <laughs> Comanche, Comanche was like one of the hot games way back when. Okay, so that's our objective. We did it, and we can actually clear that waypoint. Uh, 
that one. Like, I remember uh, going over to a buddy's house just to see Comanche on his computer back then. Because I did not have a computer that could, uh, could play it. And, man, that was a great looking game way back when. Back when the, the, the bleeding edge technology in games was mostly found in flight sims. No longer the case now. Now it's more like first person shooters. Like Wyland. Incoming left. I don't think I've ever played Rare. any Lego Incoming games. Right. I played a little bit of uh, Lego Star Wars, the first one, but that was it. Incoming rear. Incoming right. Lego Island. Where's my ejector? What even is my ejector? Uh, C62 Mecca. Incoming left. Hello, Slamwich. Play those Lego games. All right. Incoming rear. Incoming front. So where is this Mecca? That. Say nine? I don't see anything that says it's a. Uh, oh, it, it. The briefing said it was. The mech group was heading southwest, I'll say. Shit, I should. Uh. Intercepts moving southeast from there. Oh, shit, okay. Incoming. So it started there, but it's. It's probably like over here. Right. Copter out of wings. Nice. Uh, Incoming left. Incoming right. I'm not looking forward to having to fly through all that. Left. Just send the mission. C6. Still don't see the Incoming right. objective. Oh man, Crimson Skies. Incoming right. Incoming I have that game, and that's right. that's on the to-do list, and I have all the the equipment to play that game. So the first one and the the one on Xbox. Incoming left. Incoming right. Incoming I see a green dot on the radar. Perhaps Incoming that is our objective. Actually, that that might be it. If I turn this way. Incoming left. Wait, the arrow is pointing straight down this way, so it's, it's likely. This way. Incoming left. Toad gun. Okay, maybe it's that. It's also mech assaults, I think, was another another big deal. Original Xbox game, kind of like uh, Crimson Skies a little bit. Though that was more arcadey. I 
I might have to give up on this, uh... Objective sighted. Oh. I was just about to give up on this objective. Yeah, great for soft. Yeah, that was one of the one of the ones you could soft mod with. There's that. There was oh, one of the 007 games. I want to say. Though, so if you're gonna do anything with uh, an original Xbox nowadays, you can get a mod chip that is very easy to install uh, from Amazon. <laughs> that uh, doesn't require any weird like. Uh, mech assault or, or anything like that. No, no weird bootleg packed together USB drives. You just open it up. You solder like two things. Is that objective sighted or? Wait. Yeah, soft mods actually aren't great. Pretty sure my weapons officer is just shooting missiles into that hillside. had a SATA ID. Uh, I use a, um, uh, so my, my DOS slash Windows 98 PC has a SATA to, uh, IDE adapter for it. And that works, that works perfectly. And I've also got a, um, an IDE to SD card adapter. And that also it has been pretty painless. Nailed them. All right. Friendly target. Okay. All right. Back to base. Just fly through all those missiles. Uh, turn to base. Okay. All right. 50 kilometers. Starting this up. Let it go. The three newer ones. There is also, um, there's also the thing where you need a, uh, um, you need a ATA cable that has, I think it's 80 conductors on it rather than a, a 40. Otherwise your drive will only run at half speed or so. Oh man, money! I bought a. Uh, um, I've got a, a ThinkPad X1 tablet coming in the mail, sometime soonish. So I ordered it a couple days ago. Literally today, Lenovo disclosed that their uh, their Thunderbolt 3 chips that they put in their last like three or so years of ThinkPads all will fail within the next like year or so. And my ThinkPad tablet, the only ports it has are Thunderbolt 3 ports. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh shit, I'm, I'm taking actual damage here. Apparently. Why are the ports failing? There is... Oh shit. Okay. Apparently, I got hit a whole bunch. What a cool level. Let's, uh... Let's just do the primaries and then get out of here. Yeah, Thunderbolt 3 ports aren't the worst, but... According to this, this article that I saw and what Lenovo themselves disclosed on their website... 
For wounds received in combat, you're awarded the Purple Heart posthumously. All right. We're <laughs> just a gigantic flaming wreck. Nice. Uh, so, so the problem apparently is in the, the power something, something's weird with the, uh, the firmware of the, the Thunderbolt 3 controllers built into their, their systems, uh, the Intel, Intel chips that they put them in there for, um, uh, controlling TB3. All right. So we're status KIA. So if we undo last mission. Let's consider for a moment that the last mission never really happened. It was just a bad dream and one you would sooner forget. This function allows you to recover the pre-mission roster and fly again. Just consider it a hard lesson learned. All right. Status active. We we good to go. Um, uh, but yeah, there's there is something something is really screwed up apparently with the Thunderbolt 3 chip that Lenovo used in their uh um they used it in like 20 different laptops too in the last like three years or so um so the symptoms of it is like hey the port doesn't uh doesn't power anymore or it doesn't export uh or data doesn't go through it or uh hdmi doesn't work or the whole thing just doesn't work um and that's that's an okay problem to deal with if if you have other ports and if you charge via a barrel jack or something. But the problem for me specifically is that the computer that I bought and that's coming in the mail soon only has two Thunderbolt 3 ports. That's it. It charges through the Thunderbolt 3 ports. <laughs> so if the... Why am I on an aircraft carrier now? All right. Sure. Okay. Well, we're we're going over here. All right. Destroy the anti-tank group. Sure. Dell and HP. It might be, but I haven't heard of the other uh, other companies saying anything about it. It's just Lenovo. So maybe Lenovo has some special variants. That they uh, they used with Intel or something, but uh, oh boy, <laughs> that's gonna be quite a problem. And like I, I've I've read the threads about it of um, like people in enterprise, and they're like, yeah, we we have 400 of these deployed in our company, and I've had to replace 50 motherboards in the last six months, and that's the problem apparently. <laughs> so shit. And now they're, now they're saying, yep, that, that's exactly what the problem is. So, so oh, oh baby, IT departments and Lenovo are going to have a, a real problem with their hands. But apparently there's, um, there is a firmware update that uh, they're saying, hey, uh, apply this ASAP. That uh, apparently at least mitigates it. It won't fix any issues if you currently have issues. But from what they're saying, if you if you apply this before any issues appear, it'll probably make them not appear. But now there's no guarantee that, like, shit, I, <laughs> I don't know. And it really sucks because this tablet that I'm getting is like, it checks all the boxes for me. Like this, it's pretty much my ideal thing. And it, it just fucking sucks that this, uh, this issue had to come up right when I, right when I'm about to get it. Incoming. Fuck, man. Uh. Hey, Alyssa. All right, so we got infantry. Incoming left. Kind of weapons. We got this is one cannon. Okay. Incoming. <laughs> After Lenovo stock, yep. Well, it all depends on on like how widespread it is, but it, it certainly is a bummer. Incoming front. Incoming left. Incoming front. Incoming left. Incoming 
Why are you firing hellfires at that infantry? <laughs> But yeah, I also bought a uh, an X230 recently. That's from Goodwill. Right. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. Right. And that thing's been great. It's a, it's a great little laptop. Oh, the X230T? Yeah, I consider getting the X230T, but, uh... Um... Uh, I didn't really see a huge need for the, like, the, the added bulk of, uh... Of that one. Okay, so now we gotta go land on the... <laughs> the carrier again. I'm not gonna bother with the secondary objectives if they're all gonna be as horrible as the other ones. Yeah, it does have the traditional keyboard. Um, it is like it, it's slightly heavier, I think. Right. And the screen is just the screen is so low res and so small that for me the um, getting that version just didn't make sense. Plus, I knew I was gonna get this this X1 tablet anyways. So th that's why I just want the, the other one. Plus, they also they didn't have the, the X230T at Goodwill. Like Goodwill's got got uh, ThinkPads for days if. Uh, if anyone needs like a decent, a decent, cheap, reliable laptop right. that is like built like a tank, just and and will cost practically nothing, just go on Shop Goodwill and then get a ThinkPad. Right. Right. Yeah, Shop Good Shop Goodwill so good. Like actually, I uh, uh, I won three auctions in the last few days. So one of them was a uh, a special like industrial router um, that normally I think goes for two hundred and fifty, and I got mine for uh, forty bucks shipped. Uh, the other thing was a. Uh, some set of special, uh, sleeping headphones, because I, I've been looking for a decent set of sleeping headphones for a while, and there's a, a thing called the Cocoon, K-O-K-O-O-N, sleeping headphones, that have, like, an EEG built into them, and it custom tailors, like, the sounds it makes to, to know your brain waves, and, and it's supposed to help you sleep better, and since I wear earplugs to sleep, and these have noise canceling, and they're especially made for side sleepers like I, I figured I'd give them a go they were originally five hundred dollars when they came out on Kickstarter um, I think I paid 55 I, I won the auction for 55 I think <laughs> so you could you could just get some some bonkers deals from uh, from them and then I won something else and I for, I forgot what the other one is but but man I'm just Buying shit from them all the time. We on Goodwill for fifteen bucks. Yep. Yeah, boys. If you want a a move controller for uh, for your PS3 and all that, they got them on Shop Goodwill. Just just get one from there. All right. Friendly target. All right. Get our airspeed down. To Oh jeez. Uh payment options, uh it it differs for um some shops will take PayPal and Stripe for for credit card. Some will only take Stripe, some will only take PayPal. But but in general
Okay, okay, good. But in general, um, they take both. So PayPal and Stripe for those. <laughs> yeah, proxy shipper, yeah. Or you just have somebody, somebody in the states buy it for you and ship it out for you. I'm not sure if there's any proxy bidding services, services though. A modem router. Well, uh, uh, let me let me say that I am currently zero for one on getting routers from uh, from Goodwill. So don't always expect everything to work. In a lot of cases, um, things are at Goodwill for a reason. <laughs> like, don't buy any sort of modern video card. In fact, don't uh, don't buy video cards from Goodwill at all because I have like a oh man maybe 10% success rate with video cards from Goodwill. <laughs> uh, all right, sure. Let, let's save this this duty roster. Um. Grammy mishandled that. Well, that can be cleaned. the The thing that is the most like value for money from uh, from Goodwill is professional audio equipment. Like if if you are a streamer and you're looking for better equipment, or you or you just do recording or whatever, um, Shop Goodwill has the most insane pro audio deals on the internet. Like a aside from from getting it at a swap meet for a literal dollar or something or a recycling shop or or whatever like for for online online bidding type of deal you, you can't beat them for for stuff like that <laughs> adult charades board game. <laughs> nice uh okay so we're we're still in single and in golf so i and I, I'm still not sure why campaign is grayed out. Maybe if we change that to Europe, it's a little. Uh... Maybe the the campaign is only in Europe mode. No, huh? All right. Well, let's let's go to Europe. Maybe you got to be promoted before you can uh, go there. Okay. All right, here's some helicopters. Neat. Call sign uniform. Intercept BMP-1 soon. Engage and destroy headquarters. So, like, all... All these are just the same. The, there's even less variety here than Bogey Dead 6, and that's, that's saying something. So we're still with the AH-64. And yeah, we can't, uh... All right, let's, let's try out the Super Cobra. And then... Anti-radiation missile for use against radar sources. Whoop. Anti-tank. More cannon ammo. Okay. All right. Hellfires seem good. And then how about some toes? Four kilometer toes. Okay. Can we... We're still only at 40% load. Wait. Inboard pylons... What about the inboard pylons? What? This, do we have to put those on the... In, oh, those, that's where the inboards go. Okay. 
I see. So the Hydra... Those can probably go on the inboard. Yeah, there we go. 38 of them on the inboard. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Fuel, 100%. 30 chaff, 30 flares. And then there's us. That's us being cool helicopter pilots over there. Or maybe that's our... Our... Our flight... Our gunnery officer... That just likes to shoot missiles into the, the sides of mountains. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at the... So it, it looks like if you wanted to enter in cheat codes in the game, you do it during this screen. So you hold L1, L2, R2, and X for unloaded ammo. Uh, and then, the sure. So they they made the the loading screen long enough to let you uh, P, where's P? Okay, so P is starting there and heading that way. So I assume to intercept, we need to go here. Let's say, uh. It's also weird that the so the the waypoint thing, you hit X to put down a waypoint, and then the prompt is circle for cancel. Like, but then it still leaves the waypoint on there. What? Sure. Okay, so the cockpit is different here. By the way, I was this is something I I was wondering. And it looks like the frame rate is slightly better. Slightly better with this uh with this one. Oh, now it's now it's back to 15. Okay. Alright, our helicopter looks a little bit different. It's got less junk in the trunk that our our other one does. Alright. So I'm still not sure like where on these on these gauges are our, our helicopter health would be. Friendly target. Like maybe no. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you just kinda have to have to know how many times you've been hit. Cause the yeah, it don't only fuel and ammo is what the the multifunction display shows. And that's that's pitch. Huh. Friendly target. Objective sighted. Oh, okay. All right, let's hit him with the toe. Incoming front. Did I... The house is shooting missiles at me. Incoming front. Incoming right. Objective sighted. Whoa, where's our objective? Uh... So if I go... I go south of here, maybe? That's... Those are houses, though. Oh, there it is. Coming front. Okay. Coming right. Incoming front. Objective sighted. Target destroyed. Primary achieved. Friendly target. Incoming front. Incoming. Okay. And then destroy headquarters. It's way over there. Well, we could probably make that work. All right, headquarters. Let's unlock captain rank, hopefully. Oop. OK, 
Yeah, that way. Right. Incoming left. All right, let's get away from all these missiles first. Incoming rear. So it looks like, like this, that gauge might th right there might be our, uh, our damage, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah. The bogey dead six was like that too. All right, so it looks like we go slightly faster if I hold down the the rotor up. Only a little bit faster, but faster enough, I guess. Friendly target. M sixty A three. That's a that's a tank, isn't it? Why does it let me target it if it's friendly? Come on, game. Oh, oh boy. Okay. So this is the time speed turned up. And I can't go any faster. Uh, so I could either go 133 knots, or we could have the times the the time scale turned up. Incoming front. Can't have both apparently. Incoming front. Enemy chopper. Probably gonna turn off that uh, Incoming front. the weapons officer thing because so far all it's done is waste ammo. <laughs> front. That's all it's done. Oh, that's that's the enemy chopper. Business cannon. Okay. Do 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 do. Objective sighted. Well, apparently, apparently things work differently in helicopter. Helicopterology. Arr, the port. Missile incoming port side. Stern. I don't know. Incoming front. Objective sighted. Alright. Shoot a hellfire at that. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Incoming right. I'm just getting hit by everything. Incoming right. Objective sighted. Incoming right. We're taking damage. Ammo low. Incoming left. Incoming 
All right, get out of here. Uh, okay. So we want to go south here. Oh shit! All right, turn the engine back on. Incoming left. Incoming right. Incoming rear. It says right and left. Oh man. Well, I'm sure you know which direction the train is going, right? So you can probably figure it out. Incoming rear. Incoming left. Incoming left. Aren't there like, uh, smartphone apps that um, that'll alert you anyways when you're you're near your stop Incoming right. Incoming front. Incoming right. Incoming left. Man, where are all these? Right. None of these things were on the map. We're hit. Shit. Coming left. Beep 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 Glued on this radar in the bottom right. Incoming right. Friendly target. We're hit. Incoming. Dude. Left. Why isn't Okay, we're out of chaffs. Eh? Alright, I think we're almost there. We got one last missile to avoid. Oh God. How about like Target. light strips above the, uh, oh, for God's sake. Lights above the doors that flash or something. I think we're fine. Unless I'm like almost out of fuel. Okay, we're good. All right, we did it. Guys, I'm not sure how much more of this I want to play. <laughs> I, I I think I get the idea of what this game is. We'll um we'll take a look at the uh uh what the advanced avionics models look like. The advanced flight mod things because I'm I'm pretty sure that the the hours of fun campaign mode for this is just it auto generates a whole bunch of different missions for you and it's like I highly doubt there's a structured campaign mode for this and it's just here take your Comanche go do this objective the GG are there other game modes? There was there was an arcade game mode, which we, we did at the beginning of this, which is pretty much this, except it's faster. Uh, and you just keep going to get a high score. And according to the, the back of the box, the back of the box promised a... Uh, so here's the... Bring this up while we're, while we're in there. So there's arcade mode for fast hunt and kill action. And then there's a campaign mode for hours of incredibly real helicopter combat. Um, yeah, arcade mode is uh, is just go kill random shit. And then this, it's 
go kill two two things of random shit and then land. Friendly target. Nice. So yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure this is this is most of everything there is to see. Uh like we can we can unlock the Comanche. I guess. But that'll probably take like 20 hours and oh boy that that's all that it will have achieved is we'll have a comanche to to not have fun with We achieved it. Call it a day. <sighs> we don't even get a cool video for it either. Rewarded the Army Commendation Medal of Valor. Does not warrant a promotion. Fuck off. I... What? Great mission. Yep. Nailed it. Campaign zero. So there, there's still the, the campaign, but we, we haven't unlocked that. And yeah, there's flight mission and campaign mission. I... Oh, yeah, Army Man Air Attack is is the best one so far by a long shot. There is one that will be close, though, that I remember playing back in the day. All right, we'll save there. Sure. Okay, let's let's throw this onto the advanced flight modeling and see how different that is. Eh. All right, we'll keep it in Europe. Mission type. All right, let's put this on training. Just for the... No, it's not Iron Man Air Attack 2. I haven't, I've never played that one before. Okay. So difficulty, we're going to crank this up. All right, realistic visibility, realistic wind, light system realistic... Landing's realistic. Avoidance, realistic. All right. Now we'll see how, how different this controls. I'm, I'm going to guess probably not much. All right. Intercept truck convoy. Okay. Was it on PS2? No, I, I'm pretty sure it's in PS Explosion. Can't remember though. It's been a while. <sighs> yeah, realistic landing means we can crash finally. I can just turn off the turn off the router the rotors and end it all in my helicopter. Okay. Okay. So there's the throttle throttle in the lower left. Okay. So if we keep the throttle at 50% and we tilt that forward, we, we start descending. Oh god. Okay. So yes, it, it does actually handle different. Yeah, so oh god. Yep. You really lose altitude when you tip forward the nose in in this mode. But you can also go way faster. Okay, so I was I was wondering here. So this this gauge right here is how how forward you can tip forward the nose. And in the easy mode you couldn't go past the green line. It, it only lets you tip forward the nose to about here. And that was just enough to not lose altitude. 
So you you could you can go faster in this um Objective sighted. Incoming front. In this uh control mode. Enemy chopper. Incoming left. Is that something? I'm not sure this makes us any more fun, left. but I don't know why I couldn't target those those things over there. Those were clearly Excited. objectives. Demo low. You nailed them. Primary nailed them. Enemy chopper. All right, let's let's see if we can go go land without running into something. Incoming right. Demo low. So it looks like if you play on this mode, you can more easily outrun missiles as well. Because you can, you can really turn up the speed. Enemy chopper. Man. Oh, okay. All right. Enemy chopper just did a like a ninety degree turn in one frame. Enemy chopper. So I'm not sure why they bothered putting a Enemy what is that a, a tiltometer, whatever that is. Uh, this thing right there, because that really doesn't tell me much. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can land without Enemy chopper. without beefing it. A tiltometer, you know. It's a technical term for it. All right. Enemy chopper. All right, throttle down. Get our airspeed to zero. Meanwhile, these enemy choppers are just circling. Friendly target. Enemy chopper. Got him. All right. So we successfully did a mission with everything on hard. Uh, and did not crash at the end. So I'll, I'll take that as a win. <sighs> Gyroscope. It's some, some sort of gyro thing. No promotion, even though I did it all on hard. Alright. Okay, you guys. I think I'm done with this game. <laughs> I, th I think we've seen... Wait, there's Erase Unit? What? Erase me. In the Erasables. Wait, can we... Can we play as them? Wait a second. Alright, hold up. One campaign flown... Tomcat... All right, I'm going to erase, erase me. Except name. Unit patch. Oh, man. All right, we got, we got the board. Unit name. Butts. All right, this changes everything. Okay. Alright, so that's Major. Captain, First Lieutenant. Alright, so if we select Top Cat here. Unit not available. Unit not available. Oh, dang. Okay. So you can have multiple multiple campaigns going at a time, it looks like. 
And if we want to be on Butt Squadron, we we select that one. I see. Okay. Well, that's neat, I guess. Yeah, we, we've erased, erased me. So I'll show you what, I'll show you what this is real quick before we, we call it. For, for those of you who missed this at the very start, we'll do this for 60 seconds. <laughs> Incoming rear. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no boombox that we can equip in our our AH-64. Friendly target. Target left. This ain't Steel Battalion. So this is so this is what arcade mode looks like. It's just here's a whole lot of everything all around you. Now, now go blow it up. And it uh, it has all the settings on on easy mode in this mode by default, so there's no like crashing into. Objective sighted. Enemy aircraft. Enemy chopper. Crashing into the ground. Destroyed. Friendly target. Target right. Incoming right. And it auto auto programs your your stuff. Also, there's music during it too. I guess that's also a difference. We turn off the rotor. Wait, you can't turn off the rotor in in this mode? Objective sighted. Incoming right. Two percent more fun? Uh, that that's being generous. Enemy chopper. And there's also this. Sure. So if we want to uh, to salvo four and then change the the beep to two fifty. So if we want to fire four Hellfires at once, Target. or all of them. Alright, nice. We shot all of our Chopper. our air-to-ground missiles at, at one helicopter. Left. It went very well. Got him. All right. Very exciting. Now we can jettison our weapons because, of course, you can't. Yep. Okay. All right. So, this is probably going to be easy to guess, but what is the save icon for this game? I am going to guess that it is a red G. Oh, also, it plays this. Uh, it plays this every time. I think it's a safe bet that the, the save icon for this one is a red G. Yeah, this is... This at least makes an attempt at a, a sim game, but... Oh, man. A red M. And a helicopter butt. Sure. Alright, let's... Let's see what it is. Alright. Better than the PC version? Well, the PC version came out, what, five years before this one did? So that's that's kind of to be expected. Like, early, early 90s graphics are rough. Especially for the the 3D, 3D-ish type games. All right. Uh, all right. So, a red G is what my guess is. And it is... What? It's a Reggie, you guys. How did I know? How did I know? Gunship save. 
0010020003. Okay. Well, it, at least it took up one save slot like it like it said on the back of the box. That that in and of itself is impressive for an early PS1 game that it it took up a mere one save slot. Okay. All right, let's wrap up this one then. All right. Gunship, huh? All right. Completed. Uh, I I didn't play enough of it to say that I completed it. Like we we'd have to We'd have to like unlock all of the uh all of the choppers to do that. Um and do the campaign mode and assuming there is a proper campaign mode, but I have a feeling the campaign mode is probably just here's blow up this thing, blow up this other thing, and then come back to base and then do that ten times or something. No thanks. Uh, we did not cheat though. I, I knew what the cheat codes are and I didn't use them. So, hey, that's something. <laughs> All right, things I liked. Um, uh, felt like a sim game. Uh, let's see. Graphics are pretty good for a 1996 PS1 game. Uh, that menu music is pretty good. Pad mini music. Yes. Menu. Uh, what else did I like about it? Uh, potentially really long campaign because it, it, it just keep making missions for you uh, nice that they gave you an arcade mode um, pretty in depth Because you, you don't really get these types of sim games on on consoles, especially not back then. Um, so it is pretty neat that they they got a lot of the PC sim experience just kind of crammed into as much as they could realistically do with the uh, the PS1 default controller. So that's neat that they, they at least did, did their best to get uh, most of the features ported over. Like, uh, playing the the PC version or something, you could just have a whole keyboard and every single key on the keyboard does something. Like that's, that was probably the kind of depth that you got with the PC version of this, but you can't really do that with the PS1 version. So they had to, had to work with what they had to work with, you know? All right. Things I did not like. Uh, uh, oh, also I should note, um, let's see. Uh, Lots of different difficulty and realism and control options. So that's another thing that I, I appreciated in this. A lot of um, a lot of games don't give you that flexibility on like, I want the enemies to be really dumb, but I also want that the actual flying to be more realistic. Or I want the flying to be super easy and I want my weapons officer to shoot the missiles for me, but I also want the enemies to be medium. Like th this game lets you do that, and that's that's nice that they they did that. Uh, let's see things I did not like. Very generic missions and gameplay. Uh, frame rate pretty low. Mm. Beep 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 beep. Uh. Uh, this game gets really boring after, let's say, the first five minutes. Uh, 
uh, yeah, that, that probably covers most of the bases there. Okay, dang memes, erase me. Vision, vision opticus, opticalus? I, I forget what it, it was called. What was it called again? Uh, Visiononix. Vision Onyx. Sure. Incoming rear. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, okay. Sure. All right. Okay, and then drum and bass. I, I can't remember. Did it? I thought it did. I can't remember. So I, I just gonna say no there. All right, difficulty is it hard? Um. So again, like I like I mentioned earlier, this can be kind of whatever you want it to be difficulty wise. Uh, but even with everything on on easy, you still have to kind of avoid stuff and. Uh, you still have to kind of be a helicopterologist to uh, uh, to properly play this. So I guess in total, then it probably balances out to something like that. Um, and and also some of it is can you stand playing this for long enough for the game to get more in depth, but. A oh boy, I couldn't. Okay, uh, so rating one to five. So I I appreciate this game for being a more hardcore flight sim on on consoles than than really you you never really saw before on on the major major home consoles. Like I think um, like micro consoles in Europe or something like C sixty four or or the ZX Spectrum. Maybe though, or ZX Spectrum. Sorry, uh, those might have had um, some some more, let's say, Grognard flight sims. Uh, but for like the the main consoles, like Atari Twenty Six Hundred and NES, Super Nintendo, those generations, uh, you, you typically didn't have games like this. So it's it's nice that they they took a chance to bring that kind of experience over to consoles. Um, and I think they largely succeeded with this, so I'm going to say that that was a good job, but unfortunately this, you have to really like that type of game to get into it, and uh, I have a feeling most of the, the console playing audience probably wasn't wasn't as big into this type of game as like the a computer playing audience were, like attention pan spans probably were shorter. For console gamers, let's say, and and yeah, it it, it probably took a lot more commitment uh, to get good and and enjoy the depth that this game offers um, more than probably your average console player at the time was willing to give. Uh, is is my guess here, um, and yeah, it, it seems like there there certainly is a lot to this game, but I. I certainly didn't enjoy my time with it. Uh, like, it, if this came out slightly later into the game, into the, the PS1 console lifecycle, like 97 or 98, then maybe you could have the, the extra support for the, like, the dual dual joystick stuff, and maybe the, the different controller options will make the game more enjoyable. I don't know. But, but again, the, this is also kind of a product of its time, where... In 1996, you could get away with releasing a hardcore flight sim, and then people would still care about it or buy it. Uh, and I'm not so sure that would have been the case in 98 or 99 had this come out later. So it's kind of weird like that. Like it, it, it feels like this this could have achieved more and been better had it been released later, but then nobody would have bought it. So, so with those constraints in time and for what it came out, when it came out. This, this to me, that's probably, probably three. With that said, like, like it's certainly different. You got to give it points for that. It, it's not your, your cookie cutter arcade 
uh, flight shooter like a lot of the, the real shovelware was. This um, this at least went for some sim aspects. And you could play it like a sim if you wanted to. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's still just one of those games, though, that's like... Yeah, this is a sim game. It's, it's not expected to be fun, so... That, that comes with the territory. Okay. Gunship. 1996 flight on the PlayStation. One hour, 51 minutes. One death, four saves. One part, three out of five. Okay. All right. That's committed. All right. So game number one... Or no. Game number 202 is Metal... Uh, Machine Head. I keep wanting to call it Metal Head, which I think is a... Ninja Turtles Ninja Turtles thing but game number 202 is Machine Head this is a um, first person uh, I want to call it a first person shooter but it's it's like it's a hover tank game let's put it that way and it's got a really bad control control scheme to it <laughs> like really bad um, so yeah that one's that one's gonna be quite the thing but now let's uh let's see what game number 203 is going to be so game number 203 cannot be a flight game it cannot be a first person shooter game and it cannot be an rpg everything else is fair game so we'll have my database do the random pick here and we'll uh we'll see what it is all right so Game number 203 in PS Explosion is Civilization 2. <laughs> oh, baby. All right. 1998 strategy game, huh? Oh, man. I, I can't wait to see what the, the load times are going to be for this one. And like the CPU having to think about things. Uh, so this is what? 203? 203. Alright. Are we are we ready to get nuked by Gandhi? In this one? The ultimate version of the best-selling strategy game. Civilization 2. Yeah, more Microprose, boys. Microprose strategy. <laughs> uh... Civilizations reach new heights. So this is this is the civilization ass civilization experience. It looks like uh, civilization because this game. H cruisers. Yep. Negotiate. Oh baby. All right. We need we need a fresh memory card for this one. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Enjoy exclusive enhancements. All new interfaces adapted especially for the PlayStation lets you lead your empire with ease. Plus a beginner mode offers hints along the way. Probably going to need that because I... The only game like this that I've ever played was Alpha Centauri. And... I... I, I did not last long when I played that one. So, so yeah. Civilization 2. That will be PS Explosion. Game number... 203 after um, Machine Head. All right, so let me get set up for Shivers here, which is the uh, going to be the back half of the stream for part two of that. So I got to get my computer booted up and I'm going to step away for uh, a few minutes here and then we'll get going on that. So stay tuned.
get the game changed over here. Alright. Good old shivers. Alright. Gotta get my TV turned on again. So, in case you missed shivers last time, here is what happens. Previously, on shivers. Previously. Funeral. We never would have made you spend the night here if you hadn't uh, talked about this place so much. Yeah, we thought you'd been kind of, well, obsessed, thinking you hearing voices and stuff coming from the museum and all. <laughs> Too weird for me. <laughs> Get out. Get out. They oh, God. Seven. Got it. All right. Our nightmare is over. I did it. Oh, geez. Come with me as we explore its secrets. This spooky skull. In that DMB box, baby. <laughs> I bet y'all expected this song to be in the game. <laughs> well, let me turn around. Oh, fuck's sake. Good old shivers. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Let me get the audio switched over here. Turn off this. Turn on this. All right. Get ready for loud. Loud Windows 98. Dong. Drums continue to be a mystery. All right. <laughs> Select a game from the register. All right, I gotta change one more thing here. Edits. YouTube sure doesn't make this easy. Yeah, th this game has a surprisingly strong soundtrack <laughs> to it. Wouldn't have thought, but surprisingly, surprisingly strong one. Okay, so uh, between last time and today, I imported these into the game. So we now have the map that uh, the game showed us. So there was, I remember there was an Ixupi 
So here's my Exupy page. Uh, so there was the the top. Um, the top to one of them was in the office desk. So that was like here. So we'll we'll just put a T there. Um, right back here. Save that. Top there, there was an Exupy here. So we'll put an I there. Uh, let's see. Yep. So office workshop, there was a pot. So that'll be P. And that was like here. There's one there. Uh, Aztec temple. Shit. I... Oh, God. Is that... Where would that have been? <laughs> I know there's one in... One in Amazing Plants, but I don't think that's the Aztec Temple. Uh... It's not the Shaman. It might be in Tombs and Curses? It's none of those. Is it, uh... Subterranean? No? Ah, shit. Okay, well... <laughs> there's one that I... I'm not sure where... Where that one is. Uh, so there's a pot in the plant room. Uh, amazing plants. I think that's this. And it was... It was, like, over here. I want to say. Uh, there's an Exupy in the lava room. I remember that one. That one is in the basement. Uh, it was like on the uh, the other side of the underground lake, I want to say. So I think that was... That was like here? Past the maze? There's an Exupy in the main hall 2F chandelier. Uh... So that would have been up here and like right right here so there's an exupy there a pot in the burial chamber the burial chamber was here uh which was here I want to say Yeah. And then an Exupy in the Witch Doctor room, which was here. So the 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 drum puzzle was right right here, and this was the door that we were trying to open through that puzzle. But uh, I I still have yet to solve that puzzle. So that uh, that one is a work in progress still. Okay, and then where we currently are, I, uh... Oh, I'm not even sure where we are on the map. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where we are. Okay, so... So yeah, if, if you missed uh, the premise of this game last time, so we are locked inside of this abandoned museum. There are ten evil spirits... Uh, on the loose, and we need to put them inside these uh, these pot things in order to seal them up. So that's what this interface here on the bottom of the screen is. So each spot on this interface here is a spot for an Exupy pot. Um, here is where uh, our current item is, and we can only have one item in our possession at any one time. So it's either going to be a pot or a, a lid um, at top of the pot. And we have to to find the matching pot and lid and put them together. And then we'll have the, the completed one. And then we have to bring that to, I think, any Exupy. And it will put it in the pot. Uh, so we have to we have to do all that. And I think that's that's game over or the, the game's finished when we do that. Uh, if we pick up a pot or a lid, we can hit this icon here to examine it. I'm not sure why we ever have to examine anything, but we can. And then the other one next to it is just the options menu. 
So that is uh, that's the gameplay for this. And it's otherwise pretty much a mist-like. And I was actually thinking about this last night after the stream. I'm pretty sure that this game uses the King's Quest, uh, King's Quest 7 engine. Because <laughs> I think they reused that engine for a lot of stuff. And I, I believe that this game was adapted for it. Oh, there's also this. Uh... Did I even make a note of this one? I didn't. Okay, so this is... This is a pot. Uh, triangle. Pyramid. Oh, wait. That, that's why. Okay, so this, this is one of the ones that held a, uh, um, a ghost of a human in it. So this one we can't even pick up, but this is this is what the vessels look like that we're um, we're trying to get. Okay, and then this this is like an in-game hint mechanism, I guess, because this this did give me uh, an in-game hint. At, oh, I should start the timer here. This did give me an in-game hint that looked like it was something progression related. But the rest has just been not particularly helpful. Okay. And the um, the kind of digital noise that you hear whenever I move that's uh, that's just part of the game. Same with the uh, the noise with the uh, um during videos. This this is a 1995. Uh, <laughs> adventure game 1995 Windows 95 game it'd be like that okay okay so we got another elevator here and more back hallways so I'm pretty sure that this area isn't even listed in the um the blueprints so notating this on the map probably isn't gonna do me any good there's also this okay so this goes to the um the exupy room so the exupy room is I don't think it's myths and legends. I believe it's on the second floor. It might, yeah, it might be myths and legends. Huh. So we're, we're like right here maybe? I'll, uh, I'll have to keep a look at that. Okay. So then I initially went... Oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Maybe that, uh... Oh, that's the... Ex okay. This... This is the Exupy room right here. And this is... This is the dead end that we are currently looking at. So we are, uh, we're right here facing that way. Okay. All right. So there's, there's our bearings then on where we are. So interesting. So this way. So if we make a left here, continue this way. So why is there nothing here? What is this? I... 
Oh god. Whoa. Why does the music repeat when I Oh shit, that's that's an Exupi. There's an Exupi there now. Uh so there wasn't one there before. Uh where even am I? Oh fuck. That's <laughs> a <So> lot. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well there there's an Exupi uh Exupi Um Blue Wall Boards by let's say fortune teller machine fortune teller machine okay so there wasn't one there before i i've i've been near these before and it hasn't uh it hasn't done that before so that's that's odd okay where does this go we haven't been here yet All we can do here is turn around. This is so. This is usually for elevators. So there must be an elevator here. There is. Okay. So what is? So this this would be an elevator on a dead end. I don't even see an elevator. Uh, like, maybe this is up on the third floor? Yeah, maybe this is... This is, like, secretly that, maybe? But... Huh. Well, I guess you might as well get in it and see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna save here. All right, so these, these puzzles are randomized, I should also mention. So every single puzzle in the game and every location of a pot and a lid is randomized in this game. So a walkthrough generally won't help you with a playthrough of this. So for this, I need to get all five in a diagonal along this. And the more that you solve these puzzles, the harder they get is another amazing thing about this game. All right, uh, so for this one, I need to, so that one goes there. Okay, those move two at a time. Two at a time for those. Pretty sure there is no turn limit for for those. So we're on the third floor. Oh. Okay, so we're on the third floor. So yeah, we must be we must be here then, because I don't see any other elevator. Okay, so if we if we take this elevator down, this can take us I guess we can get access to to gods and religious items maybe without having to do the shaman puzzle. And then if if we took this down to floor 1, uh, oh, this goes to the library. Okay. Okay. So we, we could have accessed this already. All right. So let's go to floor two. Alright, so 
so where's this? Wait a second. This looks familiar. Okay. So if I if I go left from here and follow this all the way to the end. This should take us to gods and religious items. Or it takes us up some stairs? Oh no, it just takes us up. Oh no. Oh no. I... Okay, does that... Uh... Does that map show up in flashback? So, Care so, to refresh your memory? So there's a flashback function here, and this lets you look at um, things you've already seen. Uh, yeah, there's that. So here's up there is the elevator that we just took, and then I followed this this way, and I thought this would get us to, to in here, but apparently not. So that's... Uh, That does that then. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're wandering around back here some more then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't think I've looked everywhere around here yet. Looks like there's something here. Apparently not. Okay, another dead end. Yeah, we've definitely been here. And then this goes to the, the Van Gogh. And then this is where that um, the tint vendor was. And then this goes back up to this. So... Shit. It looks like the only way forward is this back into the Exupy room and then taking the elevator to places we've already been. It looks like. Like we could take it down to the first floor, but that just takes us to the library, which we've, we've been already. Okay. I'm pretty sure I set this correctly. It's supposed to be set to green. Which it should be green if I click two times. Yeah. Uh, I'm still not sure what that even does, but sure. So here's the Exupy room. This is where all the uh, the Exupy pods are going to be eventually, whenever we get all of them. Oh. Okay. Cool. We got a locket. So as far as I know, items don't really matter in this game, besides the the exuberant pots. Okay, so from here, yeah, it's a very flattering photo. <laughs> Lock it. All right, so we're we are currently here in tombs and curses. Uh, so the the staircase in front of us leads to funeral rites, and then that goes to the shaman room. And I guess I could try tackling that uh, that drum puzzle again. So I I had a thought about the drum. Oh, I got to do this again, don't I? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh. Okay. Luckily, this is this is easy. Oh, man.
<laughs> yeah, she she went the extra mile with her uh, her locket. Okay. Death comes uneasily to the mind of man. Burial customs throughout the world arise from the belief that the survivors can secure life after death for the deceased. You will find here that man has conceived of many ways to honor the dead. Okay, so. Mm, wait, this is, this is burial. We're trying to get to shaman. All right, get ready for spook alert. Ah! Okay. Uh. So there's there's an exupy over there. All right. So my thought here with this puzzle is that perhaps I was approaching this wrong and making the assumption that this is red left to right. And I did not try going right to left with these. So I'm going to give that a try. And if that doesn't work, then I am fresh out of ideas. <laughs> okay. So right to left, it is... Bay Doctor Mozambique speaks to the gods by drumming a secret rhythm. The drums, taba, ram, and bow are sacred, and only the witch doctor can play them to frighten evil spirits and open the door of the dead to enter the path, place of the gods. Uh, like, so all of this is just to just to open this door. I'm pretty sure. And there's, there's this environmental cue of the footsteps and the pain. There's this. Okay. And then that's it. And, and I'm pretty sure that these... These are like... These are supposed to be musical notes, right? Right? And I, I can't interact with them. And then in here is just just this stuff that I also can't interact with. And I, I don't see anything in here that looks like it would be a an environmental hint as to what all that is. Alright, I am open to suggestions uh, about this puzzle because I am... I am at the end of my rope on this one because <laughs> I, oh God. So this is the low pitch, then second lowest, uh, second highest, and then the highest one. And then the skulls, the skulls look like this. So it was... There's nine of them, or no, yeah, there's nine. So there's the, the highest one, the lowest one, and then these I am, I'm not super sure about because the, because uh, like these ones here, like these are clearly on the same the same line right but then these these two right there might be different so like these these four are clearly the same pitch across that line and these two are clearly the low pitch and that one's clearly the high pitch um 
but maybe like maybe this one is the the second highest pitch perhaps so this one could be could be like that with a question mark on it uh Yeah, based off the the hut markings. So so one one is clearly correct. Two is clearly correct. Uh, eight is clearly correct. Nine. I'm also so I'm assuming seven and eight are the same same level. And it's just the, the ones that are a question mark to me are six and four. Like, six could potentially also be a low note. Potentially. Um. So it's, it's really this one. That one and that one are two, are two question marks. Uh... So I'm not sure if I tried it with different, uh, with number six being different. So I guess that's, that's going to be worth a try here. And then in this view, like I can't, uh, I don't see anything that's touchable here. Like there's nothing on the wall I can press in to do anything. Also, I can't remember if there was a if there's a button on the wall I could press here to get a get an explanation about the shaman. You are now in the world of the shaman or witch doctor, whose purpose is to act as intermediary for gods and men. The shaman acts as doctor, frightening evil spirits away from the sick, or officiating in the practice of human sacrifice to pacify angry gods. Yep, let's look at the skulls. There you go. So I'm assuming that this, that's a line. That's a line. So there's some, some reference lines. Only two skulls of Jaws? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah? Okay, so we'll... We'll say that five is potentially... We'll put a J on, on five. And nine will also have a J. So maybe those ones aren't part of the melody? Yeah, I didn't notice that. Okay. All right. So we have we have new things to try then. Okay. So we're going to assume that that 5 and 9 5 and 9 are not going to be part of the melody then. So let's go with this this uh this 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 Okay. Well, it, it should have worked when I hit bow for that one, so that's uh, that's no good. Okay. So what about this? This. Okay, and that didn't work either. No. And then... Uh... 
Like maybe maybe nine is is Ram, and not Ba. Uh. Oh. Names are so good. I I don't I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Cause that's Cause that's just from here. The the drums are named Taba, Ram, and Bow. Sa Ram Bay. So I don't I don't think we have to sound out Sa Ram Bay on there. Saramba. Sarambo. No. Okay, so I wonder if if there's still an exupi here. Right, let's see. If, if there's still an exupi here. Yes, so there's still an exupi there. So we can't inspect those, so this is the... Hmm. Where to find the solution? Okay. Alright. So where, where in-game does it tell you the correct melody then because i'm assuming it's this right <laughs> it's supposed to, like this this is the only thing that looks like a a sort of drum notation right huh Ah, oh, the security camera tells me. Weird. Okay, well, the security camera is looking over the... It's looking at the door. Weird. Oh, there's also... There's also these, by the way. There are these notations right here. What the walkthrough says? Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I probably can't solve it now, then. So this... Unfortunately, this door, like, gate keeps a, t a huge part of the game as well. Um, so this... So this is this door right here. Um, and we, we have access to, like like this corridor right here but um this is a solid wall and this is a staircase up right there so i'm pretty sure there's no other no other way to get into that area and it's weird it, uh, it's like this part is blocked off or something because yeah there's like myths and legends, I don't, I don't think we've been able to get there either. At least I don't remember. Huh. Okay, I guess we gotta look elsewhere then. Because skulls, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what the. Wait, can we, can we see behind his? Uh... No, we can't. Okay. Yeah, weird. All right. Well, no sense bashing our head against the wall on that one anymore. Then, okay. So next, then. So there's the the old jade skull again. Um. Yeah, because Sierra. Mm. 
Okay, so... So we can, we can get to the clock tower then through, uh, man, that's so dumb that you have to solve that puzzle every time to, to get through there. Okay. There's still an exupia in there. Okay. So we... We haven't been back here since, like, the very start of the game. And this is before I even messed with any of the, the skull doors. So this, this, according to the map, is stairway to the tower. So this is, this is this door right here. And then the the weird secret door with the drum and bass music is um, is not notated on this uh, on the blueprints at least. And then for this, uh, like this, like I'd have to. So a word that, so maybe, maybe it gets spelled out right here. So a word starting with one of those, starting or ending with one of those letters. Or starting and ending with one of those. So. All right. So it could be A, E, S, or Y. Or starting with M, G, D, or E. So this would be a eight letter word. M, M, I. So it's, it's likely not M, H. It could be mystery. Is there an S in uh, one of those? No. My Mio Porta. Uh. Eureka? No, not enough letter. Too many letters. Um. Uh, th the, the problem here is that I'm not sure where the, the word would start. If it starts like here, going this way, or if it goes that way, or if they both spell out something. Uh, <laughs> so, it's, it is, so it can it can feasibly end with any one of these four letters. Uh, Perfect solution result forwards. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't remember solving this when I when I had the game way back when. Seraph, Seraph, Tid, Salit. At least this is moving quicker. Seraph, So an E. Yeah, it would it would likely not start with the Y. But ending with the Y, like over here, if it went this way, that what might make more sense. So etch Your 
Error, Kim. Error, Tim. Uh. Yeah, I. <laughs> this, this one hurts my brain. I uh. Oh man. Okay, if somebody wants to take a screenshot of that. And, and think about that one while I explore more. You're you're more than welcome to. In fact, I I will get out the old Polaroid here just in case I need to think about it later. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. So you got ten seconds here to hit print screen if you need to. But this hurts my brain. Uh, okay, so next I want to go over to that uh, the secret secret techno hallway, and I'm curious if any of these doors are different now. Now that we've spun some skulls around in the exhibits. Okay, so this is still the same. All right, this is a way to the library. This is an elevator. Yeah, okay. So this is... Uh... So this is right here on the map. So here's the here's the door, or the, the skull that we're looking at is right there. Um... So how we get there from from here, I, I'm not sure, but we certainly did. Uh, maybe that's what this is, right there. Yeah, it must be that. So, so this part of the blueprint is actually actually like secret secret hallway. Okay, so that makes more sense there. Okay. We got this security camera. So we can't check the security camera feed unless we solve that, that word puzzle door. And if we solve that, then we can... We can go to a whole lot more parts of the, the museum. But unfortunately, we got to do that puzzle. And I'm not sure what what all this is all about. Okay, this is this is on the bottom floor. All right, so that's the that's the basement, and it's over here in the corner. And that's pretty much everything that's here. According to this, there's a my butter Nestle, a furnace, and then a generator. Um, I don't recall if the... <sighs> if the generator needed to be restarted or something? So this is the... whatever the circular thing is here. And there's nothing to interact with. And then off to the left is that, which sounds like it's running. And then in here is the the generator room. Oh, okay. So this is this is the furnace. And then this is the the separate generator room. According to the blueprints. And this is all working, so. Yeah, that's the only thing in here. Okay. All right, so nothing, nothing new and exciting there, I guess. Uh. 
Oh yeah, that's right. There's, there's this little weird area over here. I'm not sure what the significance of that area is, but... Make sure we're over there. Alright, back to Techno Tunnel. So we already checked the purse. It uh, it had the the contact book for um, 80s teen. And then this, I think this is a one-way door, if I remember correctly. Where that went, I'm not sure. Welcome. Oh, that went back into the. Uh, the theater. Shit. So I, I, I think our only place that we can progress is that dumb word door. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're gonna have to. Slam my head against this word door then for a while. Okay. All right. Notes here. So. If I type this out... Alright, so we got S... E... C E... E... C Y E... And then, next one over we got E... R F L K H D. Next line is so starting from the outside in. A R B U F O I G. And then outside in Y T F O R J E. Okay. All right. So if we if we do a little little word scramble here, So this would be going left or right. S R R wouldn't work. So like E R A R R E R R. I, I'm not sure if I can easily do monospace fonts in OneNote. I, I totally would have done that if I could though. But, uh, Libri, all right, do we have a, what's a monospace font? Like terminal? Uh, Unicode? Okay. You see the console. All right. Let me know your favorite fonts, boys. All right. Uh, EVRR. So like A R R. Arf. Mm. Uh. S. 
SC Sec Secker Secroid. Like maybe maybe secret, but no. Uh There's also the possibility that it's a backward. I uh, oh god. Uh, S. Oh man, <laughs> this my head hurts. Uh. So I, I, I would say it could have been security. But it's not, not quite, uh, secure. Yeah, there, there's no I. So th this could have been security, but But yeah, there there aren't enough to to do that. Why has to be at the end? Yeah, that, that's if we go um, if we go this way. I was actually thinking uh, this one being filled in. But yeah, if if uh, the word went this way, left to right, then yeah, Y would most likely have to be at the end. Um. Yeah, the, the professor's name was Wordle Nut or something. Yeah, let's, let's look through the, the flashbacks. Care to refresh your memory? That we got. Windle nut, I think. Uh, so there's also the address book. There's the the red door. Merrick, yeah, and Sylvie. So this this is clearly something for a later puzzle, but that's that's not going to be for this. Uh, that's all all the same for that. It's yep, yep. Uh huh. Willie's books, and then and that's it. So. Not going to be in there. Merrick's notebook. Yeah, Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant. So this is this is the uh the high school kid in the the 80s their notebook. Professor, yep. Brown cool bummer. Get rid of Beth. Yeah, we pretty neat. All the doors are locked. Yep. Beth is dead. And yeah, I, that's all that. Uh, scrapbook. Wendell Knight does it again. Stonehenge. There's, there's Professor. Uh, uh, yep. Joffrey Wendell Knight. So I don't think Wendell... So there's no W in any of these. So I don't think Wendell Knight is, is going to be one of those. Uh, and like, well, all right, hold on. So does M get flipped around? <laughs> uh, so this, does M turn? Okay, so it stays as M wherever we put it. Okay. Merrick? No, because that uh, that would require there to be an R in one of those, and there isn't. There's only one R in that uh, that middle section. 
This font also is in mono space, by the way. <laughs> so I set this to terminal. Uh, what's a good Libri courier Will courier work? I know terminal will because that's that's definitely we can set it to the razor <laughs> razor tech. Uh. Wait, there is no terminal? What the hell? All right, wingdings, bring it home. Okay, perfect. Uh... Is there really no mono space? There we go, console. Okay, found it. Problem solved. Okay, oh geez. All right, there we go. Yeah, I, I did notice it, okay. All right. So there's, there's our mono space. Uh... B, B, R, Arby's, Ar, Arbu, Ev, Evil. Can we spell it? No, I can't spell Evil. Uh, so it's it's likely not repeating ease at the beginning. What are the names we have? I I don't think a name would be a thing here. Because the, the only things that would probably be re relevant to the professor would be care to refresh your memory like his name or his son's name uh and that would have been scrapbook so hubert is is the name of this guy hubert t windlenot and there isn't even a w in there for windlenot and there is one h but it's not at the end so it's it's likely not hubert windlenot uh, and his son is Joffrey, Joffrey P. P. Wimbledon and Mary Elizabeth. Uh, and grandfather is William. So we got Joffrey, Mary Elizabeth, uh, oh, it could, it could be Joffrey. Yeah. Yeah, that that could be one. Yeah, it probably is. Okay. That seems like that seems like our most promising mm. lead here. <laughs> uh, so it would be this one. Hey, all right, mystery solved in there, and then it locks behind us because. Oh 
god. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Alright, hope y'all like clocks. Okay. Oh, that's, uh... So this is probably Spooky Teen. Spooky Teen Ghost. the markings were important, but now we know. So that, I thought that one's a duck. You had a nice duck there. Okay. Let's see what's up with this. Uh... this we probably have to set this uh, specific time to get access to something okay so we want the the drum room which is this one it looks like yeah oh, oh. Hey, look at that. Ramta Boba Taramba. Okay. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with the skulls, apparently. Uh shit. The skulls are... Oh, fuck. All right. Ramta Boba... Ta Ram Ba Okay. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that that's quite the red herring. Oh man. She it. I love how the cursor goes black and white there for that. Alright, what about this one? Okay. Yeah, so this is... That's the Ixupi chamber. And then this one is Stonehenge, it looks like. Okay, I don't see anything of note there. All right, spooky. So this one we've already seen. This is the the burial rites room. Okay. Okay. This one outside. Oh, geez. Okay. 
Uh, so that's... Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's the the beginning of the game. Outside courtyard. Okay, and then this one is the underground lake. Yeah. So that's that's where one of the exupi is right there. So we need uh we need a completed pot in order to to get that one. Is this the is this play button a red herring too, I guess? And then this is this is the secret secret spooky techno corridor. Oh, Great. Very informative. Uh, this is the main hall. Okay. Oh, God. This is... This looks like a bad time, wherever that is. Eh. And then this is the amazing animals, the uh the first exhibit. What? Does he just does he just dab and then throw something on the floor? This is the, I think the underground maze, I want to say. Okay, so it looks like there's only three, three things that gave us any sort of clue. And the only real clue was that, uh, the shaman puzzle. Okay, and then this. So we can't read that. So if we select A1. I'd like to dedicate this piece to the world's greatest museum of ancient artifacts. in Jamaica. I was so enchanted with this rendition of a children's nursery rhyme that I recorded it. That's it. Okay. Sure. Also the pharaohs. This piece reminds me of an afternoon in 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 remix. Okay. Okay. 
When Geoffrey was tiny, I used to repeat this rhyme to him. Okay. This one I know. This is the Anansi Spider Song. I liked this delightful melody so much that I had a music box made for Jeffrey. Alas, I never gave it to him. Yeah. So that's that's a fable. American Indian tribal chants. I never did get the chance to do any archaeological work in the American Southwest, but this tribal chant intrigues me. Right, I'm not gonna have any hints there? Renaissance guitar. I became familiar with this piece when the Mexicans worked here. I miss them. Now I have only my own tired voice to keep me company. It's probably just an instrumental. Okay. I'm assuming the instrumentals aren't going to have any sort of hints or anything. I'd like to dedicate this piece to the mysterious young man who keeps following me around. Something in this... Spinners? Okay. And then songbirds. All right. Let's... Okay. Mary Elizabeth so I don't think there's any anything relevant there. Okay. So next is probably messing with the clock here to see if we can get the clock to do something. So it's currently set to 12. Is what we want. Doesn't look like it. Eleven. Okay, maybe there's something new here. Okay, so what does pulling that second chain do then? So we pulled this one. What does that do? Okay, so that that moved the hand. By 40 minutes? Yeah, that is nice for the game. So you don't have to sit there and listen to it. Okay, so the... So it looks like the the left chains... Move, move time by... Four hours? It looks like. Forward and back. And the, the right set of chains is 40 minutes and pulling the the left side of it moved it forward um left equals 
forward. Okay. But I'm I'm kind of unsure what the <sighs> to what end. Like we probably have to get this spun all the way around maybe or get access to this, but I don't know. There's, there's nothing else around here. Yeah, at this point, I'd, I'd just be kind of aimlessly pulling chains here, so I... I think I'll move on from there for now. There's this other, other set of chains here, but... <laughs> those don't do anything, I guess. Okay. So our next point of progress then would be the uh, the shaman room, and the way to get back to the shaman room is so this is the way to the secret secret techno corridor. So that's not going to be helpful. Uh, so it's this way, and then back out into the main hall. And then up the stairs to the left, to the second floor. I Actually, I think I should check the... Oh, there's also this. So here's a, an entrance tune from somewhere. Uh, I want to double check what we saw in the security footage. We saw the guy drop the... Was that the inhaler that the guy dropped then? It must have been. So this... Yeah, from Merrick. And then up in the nest here, there's just these eggs. Okay. So he didn't dab, he was just... Inhaling. Sure. Okay, so back out into the main hall. Oh man, this, this navigation is something else. Okay. So back up here, up to the, the second floor. Alright, same there. Okay, up here. Don't get hit by the Akubi. So through here, we have to do this dumbass puzzle again. Why won't this... Oh, sick, okay. I don't have to do the puzzle again. I was just clicking on the wrong spot. Okay, and then this way to the right here. Okay, all right. So according to that security footage, this is Ramta. Oba, ta, ram, ba. <laughs> oh, man. Man. What? What a red herring. Like the. <laughs> What a red herring this was. God damn. Ugh. Okay, so new area. No tribute pleases an angry god better than a blood sacrifice. Fortunately for man, there are benevolent as well as vengeful gods. Okay. All right, so we are in... Th this is a fantastic noise that's going on in this room. Uh... Huh. So the... 
so we're we're like right here so apparently this whole area is is the gods and sacrifices area i suppose all right oh good more skulls laid out in musical notations all right so th these are these are the high notes the middle man fuck that puzzle fuck that puzzle well there there's also been security cameras in other parts of the game though ed which is why i, I discounted the thousand thing but there was also the paint on the floor and that might have given it away that there's the, the spilled paint up there so sure that would also make sense as well. Fisherman's Canoe God. This TE or wooden icon has a fun special house on one of the Austral Islands. Demands animal and human sacrifices. Okay. Yep, yeah, that, that's a Buddha. Yep. So we got big old snake here. Yeah. All right, spooky, spooky skeleton guard. Thank gods to everything. Political strategies and social events were based on the idea that time was sacred and even days and months were assigned their own god. Each day, hundreds of gods influenced my life. Yeah. All right, spooky skeleton is guarding whatever this is okay so this is this is the stairs up to, to this little room and then there's another another big room next to this <laughs> all right thor norse god of thunder and lightning oldest and most powerful son of odin lightning was greater through his hammer and main weapon mjolnir Thunder was the rumbling of his chair as it moved across the chair. And then, can't open this. This looks like a jump scare waiting to happen, but nope. Okay. Where are all the puzzles at? Oh, there's, there's Spinny Skull. So let's, let's take care of Spinny Skull first. So this, this is probably supposed to be blue. Because all the ones have matched with their button color is so far, but let's see. No, this one's actually supposed to be red. According to my notes, the two-headed Celtic god is supposed to be red. So this is, I think, the first one so far that has not matched the button it's supposed to be. Interesting. Okay. So check. So we only have one more. There's, um... Myth of the Werewolf is the only one left that was mentioned in that pamphlet that we haven't run across yet. Door before you opens not until Chuen, a mind day god, trickster and co-creator of the higher life, is revealed. Oh, this is probably the clock puzzle, what the clock is for. Chuen, Mayan day god. Okay, so... Yep, this boards this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, we'll. <sighs> Wait, no, this is. This is. Hold up. This Care is. Care to refresh your memory? This is. This is. This is this. Red door. That. That's the. That's Ch Chuen. It's got to be. Because that. Uh, the pieces to that look um, about the same. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a red door. Will let me back out of this? Yeah, that's the red door. Okay. And then... That. 
So, so this... This is what we're trying to make. <laughs> that thing. Uh... So can we rotate piece? Oh god, we can rotate pieces. Oh! <laughs> uh... Okay, so this... This is over here somewhere, it looks like. Um... This is a bottom piece. So you can only spin it this way. Uh, okay, so I, I'm going to try and, and do this part. Because that, that's probably one of the easier parts. There's also... There's also the top one. So this here's this is clearly the the top top center. That's got to be that. Right? No. Shit. <laughs> uh uh Oh god. Uh okay, all right. That and we, and we have to listen to this fucking song the whole time, too. That's probably the worst part of this. Okay, there, there's that. Okay. Oh, does that look correct? That, no. Okay, that, that looks right. Uh, okay, this is, this is the top of this, which goes like there. This goes here. This goes like here. here. Okay. This goes there. This is an edge piece. Not, not there. No. Puzzle solving DMB. All right, well, we can. How about that? And then we can. How about that? <laughs> so I still have to listen to it, but you guys don't. Uh... Okay. So... It'd be nice if I could spin these in the in the puzzle. So if if I can find that, that would be great. If I could fill in that piece. But I don't really see anything that really fits the bill for that. Maybe it's like one of these and I, I misplaced it. Like that. 
Okay, let's let's take a look at that uh, the good reference drawing again. And maybe I can make a better better drawing of it. Okay. So this was this and then that. This was the double double rainbow like that. And then this one was like this with that and then the swirly like that. Okay. That looks more like that. And then this one is like that. This, let's get it correct. This. And that. Okay. All right, that, that looks more accurate. That's more accurate. Okay. Sure, so it's supposed to look this this is practically cheating but sometimes it'd be like that okay so <laughs> uh shit i don't even see anything that that looks like it would fill in that that bottom left part like this maybe no this it's got to be oh it's got to be this okay okay so there's that yeah it's basically the same as, as going back yep there we go okay that that looks more promising okay and then Why are there why is there vocaloid shit in the <laughs> in OC remix? Uh this? Oh, okay, it's gotta be three spaces. Yeah, the weebs invading OC Remix. Okay, so this that one's got to be vertical. Maybe it's it's like this, and I no. So we need a. Uh, like one of these goes here. No, that doesn't seem right. And then, and then, where would this one go? Like the. What? Where would that one? I. Uh. Okay, this one, this one at least either goes like this or the opposite way. No, it, it has to go like this, right? Boy, no, 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 it's curving. Okay, this has got to go like 
here. To fit with that one. Okay, so that goes there. Hi, Laird Hidden. Have a good sleep. Uh, okay, this one... That one looks like it's supposed to go with that, but then, but then this one would be in the wrong spot. So, this is the tip for for that then, and that goes like. Oh. Okay, that goes like that that goes like okay okay and then these get shifted over by one okay this that looks promising okay And then this, that goes like that. This goes here. So maybe not all pieces actually have to be filled in. Maybe. Like this piece must be wrong. But that. That looks right to me. Maybe I'm getting hung up on uh, on trying to get every piece to to work where it should be, when that's probably not going to end up being how this is solved. Maybe this goes this goes down there. That does that doesn't seem right to me. That doesn't seem right. But I'm going to roll with it. So we also we have to fill in this. And maybe that goes... Right, so I want to put that there. And that, that looks correct. So I gotta move up everything else. Shit, what was I gonna put there? Okay, this, that goes there. And then the other one with, with the dot on it. I forgot where that went. Okay, is there anything that fits in there that has the...
So this, this actually goes like that. So it looks like I need to... Hmm. So this probably needs to be shifted up. This along the top is not going to work. That along the top is not going to work. So it's got to be this going along the top, but that doesn't work either. And that doesn't really match with this anyways. There we go. There's that. Okay, so there's the top. Um, but but where that goes on the top, I have no idea. Ah, uh, okay. All right. This is this is starting to come together. Okay. Soon, I won't have to listen to to this song anymore. So that probably goes there. And then that's the inside track. That goes, that definitely goes there. Okay, and then some of these need to be shifted. Yeah, so there, so there's definitely a spot here that, that this needs to go up. So that means this one is in the wrong spot. Okay. That's not going to work. So there's there's a corner piece potentially here. Okay, that that looks promising. That looks promising. Yeah, I, I I'm thinking some of these aren't used. Okay, so that's that. Okay. I think we're all, uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Shit. Oh, we're so close. We're so close.
But not that one. Not that one. Uh, okay, that that initially looked promising. So that's okay, 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 and then this one here. Okay. Then this one goes up. This one there. All right, y'all get to, to listen what, to what I've been listening now. All right. All right. All right. I've had to listen to that that entire time. I didn't get to hear Snake Eater. I had to listen to this that entire time. <laughs> now you know my pain. Yeah. Okay. There's there's damn it. Oh boy. <sighs> Okay, all right. Onward. So we we can check that puzzle off. We've done that. Check that off the notes. Siren song. We did that. Okay. All right. So what else is in here? So that's where we came from. There's Thor. We already did that. This is the the Giannis sculpture, two-headed sculpture, God looking forward into the underworld and backward into the realm of the living, the horse sacred to the war god shares the vision. Damn. Got a sick mustache. Oh, this must be where you find out about uh, which, um... Should we not click on that? Okay. Well, maybe not. Never mind. This sure looks like an exupy area. Sumerian Lyre. Music is essential to the... Oh, God. Purify themselves by bathing vast... Oh, man. Music puzzle, boys. Sumerian Bull God. Ion. On is the source of rain, and his bellowing is said to be the thunder of the overcast sky. His name means sky, and it was On who chose the new king. The purpose of the cavity in the statue is unknown, but it might have been to offer items to the Bull God. Okay. There's probably a thing in there. And we have to open it by plucking the strings, I'm guessing. It didn't take my first click. Oh, shit. So I'm pretty sure we have to do 10 correct. Is 10 correct uh, matches here. And I completely missed which one that was, so. Oh. Dude, it double clicked again. Shit. All right.
Okay. All right. We're gonna we're gonna label these motherfuckers. Okay. One, three, five, seven. Okay. So we'll just let's just screw this up. Yeah, it's going to be 10 notes long by the end of this, by the way. I, I remembered this puzzle now. Um. Seven, two, six. Seven. Seven, two, six. Right. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. All right. One, two, three, five, one. Seven. Okay. Six. One. Two. All right, we're gonna cheese the fuck out of this. But don't don't you blame me because you can see how bullshit this is. Six, one, two, three. Six, one, two, three, five. Oh, man. Okay. Six. One. Two. Three. Five. Six. One. Two. Three. Five. Four. Halfway through this fucking puzzle, by the way. Just <laughs> this is the shivers experience. Oh god. Using a trackball on this. This is five. Four. Seven. Oh man. 
we've been on the screen so long, my OLED went into low power mode and the screen got all dark because <laughs> it detected a static image. Seven, four, Six, one, two, three, five, four, seven, four, three, seven. I think that was seven. Okay. Six, one, two, three, five, four. Seven, four, three, seven. Oh, God. All right. Six, one, two, three, five, four, seven, four, three, seven, five. Four, three, seven, five, seven, ah, oh. okay, YouTube down, down, but then back up, okay. All right. Okay, and that gave us a, a pot lid. Okay, so this is the lid for, we actually have the, the bottom piece for this. I recognize the shape. So this is a lid, let's clear this. Um, yeah, we, we totally could go grab a ghost. Uh, this, that, and this is in the liar. Sacrifice. Okay. Um, so this one, so we'll, we'll keep this in our inventory. So this one, uh... Actually, maybe we can't. Shit. Oh, we we could. So so there's a a bowl lid that's triangle shaped in the office desk, and there is a triangle one in the plant room. I might have been able to do one this whole time, and I'm I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's put this back. Luckily, we don't have to do that whole puzzle again. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Uh, am I clicked out of here? Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's incredible game design. Welcome to Mist Lakes, 90s Mist Lakes. Uh, so I, I think I can go get that Ixupi now. So isn't there some other? Yeah, so we can go through this door now. Okay, let's let's see. It's over here. So this is uh. uh okay, so this is this is this door right here. And it looks like it's a one-way door? Huh. Okay, so this is this is the way to myths and legends, so. Okay. Yeah, the one in the underground lake 
was the only uh, progress blocking Ixupi so far. I love this. This is great. Ancient astrology. Okay. My greatest fan, Merrick. Oh, this is this is one of the high school kids. All right, 1938. Superbo Wendell not wrote a starting paper. Pyramids were built. Yeah. Extraterrestrial beings inspired the construction of their building. Yep, stone signs, gods. Uh, Port says no theory uncovered. Yep. Uh, 319 books and 10,000 articles have been written. Ancient astronauts. That's it. That's that's the whole thing. Okay. Sure. Sure. It's, it's aliens. All right, does that count as a Lamaus for this game then? Are we checking the a box? Oh no, oh no, this looks like, all right. Oh, this is the Anansi. Uh, yeah, Anansi the spider. Darkness, Gila monster. The items they got in the bag throughout darkness, throughout the moon and sun. Music box celebrates it. Yeah, so this is this is what they what was mentioned in the the jukebox in the clock tower. This is the Anansi the spider thing. Okay. And I I probably need uh, need to have Anansi the spider queued up in the, uh, the clock tower jukebox in order for this to work. Because, yeah, I click on this all I want and it won't do anything. So, yeah, that's, that's probably what I need for that. Okay. Missed to explain the introduction of Death of the World to the Maoris. Death was ruled by the goddess Hinenuintepo. Sent the spirit, journey across the ocean, and closed in a carved chest. Body remains stood guard, frightening way intruders. Can we open it? Oh god. Spooky skeleton. Okay, this one we are Okay, this one we we do have. So this is the this, so we have two complete pots now, it looks like. Uh, well, th this might be it. I, I think it's this one. I, I could have sworn it was squared off, though, and not... Uh, this one is is an arc rather than square. But it is in the burial chamber, and it's also ancient Egyptian. Um, so I'll make a note of it, at least. So this one is a lid. It's in the coffin. And... Uh... So where's where's this on the map? This is myths and legends, I think. Myths and legends. Uh, so this one was a lid. Okay, we'll just mark that there. And then there is also. A, a lid in the sacrifice room. So I'm just I'm marking these on the map here. So this is the one I just filled in right there. Uh, and then the liar puzzle was was this. So there's a lid here as well. Uh, 
Okay. That all... That checks out. Okay. So we got giant snake. Sure. Apophis the serpent. Serpent Apophis attacks the sun god Rod every night, battling until morning. Priests of Ra reenact the battle by inscribing a wax effigy with the name of the circuit and hacking it into pieces while reciting a spell. All right. Can we click on the eye? No. All right, just a big snake. Found in a cave in Turkey, one example of a myth founded in truth. Apollo killed all the Cyclops with a bow they had forged. Could it be that they really existed? Sure. And then, oh, this this is the the werewolf room. We found the werewolf, guys, and there's there's a cool dragon up there. <laughs> okay, so there must be a spinny skull thing in here. Or something. Oh God. Okay. So this is, this is an Ixupi room. So we'll, we'll put that in the corner here. Okay. Cool. I don't see the, the spinny skull switch here though. Yep, oh, there's the werewolf. There's... There we go. Okay. So, spinny skull switch for this room is... Red. Myth of the werewolf. Okay, this should be the last spinny skull switch. Okay. Care to refresh your memory? All right, I'm gonna double check what that pamphlet said. So that was the brochure. All right, giant eagle's nest is blue. Yes, Viking burial is blue. Yep, myth of the werewolf, red. Yep, legend of the Daros is yellow. Yep, tomb of the Ixupi is green. Yep. And then two-headed Celtic god is red. Yep. Okay, so, yeah, I have them all checked off in my, my notes here, so... Whatever that did, we, we sure did it. I, I don't know what it did, but... Yep. Okay. We did it. <laughs> uh... Sure. Lycanthropy, or the act of shape-changing, is universal in all societies. In Europe, man became a werewolf. In Africa, a were-lion. In some countries, a man may become any were-animal. Okay. And in Daggerfall, they ruin speedruns. So what is this? It's, it's a were... were-rat? Okay, so this is an Exupi spot. Okay. None of these other things are interactive. Okay, this goes up to the third floor. Where we got another jam. All right, so so this is the staircase we just went up, and then that brought us right here to the planetarium. Man, this game's got some some bangers in it. Man. 
All right. This is, here's the ancient aliens. Astronomical construction. Scientists have yet to explain the perfection of the Great Pyramid in Egypt, the images on Easter Island, Stonehenge, or the Great Temples in Latin America. Each of these has astrological significance. One can theorize that the only way that much of the great architecture in the world is built was with the help and influence of technologies far greater than ours. Since 1947, when American pilot Kenneth Arnold described what he saw as, they flew like a saucer would if you skipped it across the water, man has reported thousands of UFOs. Hysteria? Then why do we find flying saucers creeping into prehistoric cave paintings 7,000 years old? and giant Nazca markings in the deserts of Peru that can only be seen from thousands of feet in the air. As you investigate further, you'll discover we are not alone. Th that checks out. Yep, it's definitely aliens. Oh God. No, uh, no, okay. Uh. I, uh. Oh, man. All right, clearly we need a reference book for this. <laughs> That's crazy. Archaeoastronomy is the study of the ancient cultures, beliefs in the heavens, the early spirits we see. Heraclides of Pontus proposed that the planets revolved around the sun. Across the sea, Mayan Indians built temples aligned with Venus. Why then did modern man not know of the planet's orbits until AD 700? One theory is that aliens from another system did not choose to share this with modern civilizations. A Lamau. Okay. Alright, this is not interactive, apparently. There's another display thing. Okay, we're gonna solve that. It looks like there's probably... Okay, so this probably opens up if we solve the thing on the wall. You know those planets. There are one too many planets on that, though. Get fucked, Pluto. There's... One. Sure. Can't think. Oh, oh. Oh, you can. That one moves. I just remembered there was. There were. Okay. There was something in the notes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, we actually got something from the... All right, Earth must be aligned with love and war. Then from below, you'll discover more. So that's that's what that um, fortune teller machine told us. Earth must be aligned with love and war. Then from below, you'll discover more. Amidst the storm, the Norse god executes his thunderous deed. Near him a message, its content he must keep. So, back by Thor. Wherever Thor was, there's a message? Near Thor. Alright, let's... Check out this thing while we're here. Look at that thing. The belief in alien visitation is central to many cultures. Australian Aborigines believe the Earth was created by the Wanjna, who came in flying spacecraft. The Dogon tribe in Africa claim to get their knowledge of the stars from extraterrestrial visitors. Indian legends from South America tell of an ancient tribe of warlike women who were descended from an advanced race who came to the Earth in fiery ships. 
Yep, shout out Gustav Holst. I, I love the planets. Like, what a great, uh, what a great suite. The planet suite is. All right, so let's uh, let's go back to where Thor was back here. Oh shit! So now Snake is Snake is an Exupi now. All right. Uh, was 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 it always Snake? And that's where Red Door is. So yeah, there's. Huh. There's another Exupi in here, apparently. Sure. <laughs> Alright, Thor was in here. Alright, so here's... Oh. So this is interactive now. This wasn't before. Hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt a secret. So hieroglyphs that's likely page 17 of that book. Page 17. Alright, let's uh, flashback. Care to refresh your memory? To page 17. Page 17 might be that page that was ripped out of the book though. Nice. Well, the, uh, this is this is helpful. Cool. And there, there is the um, the symbol being drawn here, but that's that's the Exupi symbol that uh, that the body drew there on the ground. So maybe the page is found in the Exupi room, where page seventeen is, perhaps. But it it seems whatever whatever that is we can't uh, <laughs> can't do anything there at the moment. So back over this way then. Okay, so I think we're done with this area. We can't solve that puzzle yet. Unless we just brute forced it. Okay. So through here is strange, strange inventions. There's also According to the map here, there's also this. Uh, and that would be behind this thing. Behind, behind this thing is where that would be. But we, we can't solve that puzzle yet, so can't do that. All right, so onward to strange inventions then. Man creates in order to improve his existence. However, many of man's early inventions became lost. During the dark ages, an inventor whose creation seemed a little too ingenious could be accused of collaborating with Satan and consequently burned at the stake, or worse. Okay.
So this, this pattern there looks familiar, and I'm pretty sure this is a one-way door. So this is, this is likely this, and that takes us into the, that secret hallway. But I'm pretty sure if I go in there, we're stuck in there until I, I go all the way around again, so we'll, we'll not go in there just yet. Contents. Louis Garçon's alchemical machine. That seems safe. Can we just... Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, we got ourselves the Professor Layton puzzle. Oh, shit. Alright, so we need one that goes from green on the right. So can we spin them? We can spin them. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Alright, so that that one can go there. Uh... So this one can go here. So we need green to green. So that's not going to work there. We need green at a right angle. So that one will work there. And will only work there. Uh... This can work here. So that won't work there. Okay. I played enough Professor Layton games to know Professor Layton playing the whole Professor Layton series has prepared me for that. <laughs> okay. So this one, oh shit, I brought that with me. Can I swap them? Oh shit. Oh, I can't swap them. All right. Excellent. Uh so this one Sure, so this is a lid. So we got a lid, and it's in the alchemy machine. And that's in the inventions. And this one is like... Don't do that, Ed. 
I have to listen to that song at NBA games, and it drives me crazy when they they play that for for Baby Shark Cam. All right. Uh, okay, that's probably it for that area then. All right, and then this is man's inhumanity to man, and this this room in particular, I remember. This is where there's a horrible puzzle. Man has taken it upon himself to penalize his fellow man for every conceivable offense, many trivial. Historically, singing insulting songs in Rome, injuring a cat in Egypt, and even selling bad beer in Babylon could bring the death penalty. Okay. But yeah, this, this area... I remember there being... a absolutely horrible puzzle. And it's in... I, I'm pretty sure it was in the puzzle room. Which has its own special, special area here. Oh god, I'm not looking forward to that one. It's hanging out in here. Not to mention, you have to listen to this the whole time when you're doing it. <laughs> uh, uh, putting the death sentence for the class. Capitation is all the commoners. Puzzle kill you if you get it wrong. I, I die inside. You can have the sight of it. Can we? This, this machine looks like it operates. Anyway. Uh, historically, the search for the perfect hang. <laughs> uh, one the neck, get the rope. March to drop. Big came down inches. 14 feet, 5 inches. Only a 10 foot drop. Sure. Probably, uh, a thing up here. Okay. Maybe 14. Was it 14? Six inches? <laughs> Turn around. 14, five. Shit. That's off by one. You probably just have to set this to 14.5. No? 420? 69? Nope. Maybe it's just 10, 10, zero. It wasn't this puzzle, by the way, that, that I remember being horrible. Uh, so this is, this is where we came in, I think. Yeah. 
Wait, there's a separate door somewhere? Oh. So that's... That's probably an Igzupi. I'm gonna say that's probably an Igzupi. So let's see. Ya. Oh, for like the the number of inches total. Yeah, that that could be it. Like enter in the amount of inches for that. This, this was it. This is the, the room that made me stop playing this game when it came out. This fucking room. One seventy three. Okay, I'll, I'll give that a go. Let's see if that, that works. Just that I don't have to listen to that song right now. <laughs> Holding and moving doesn't move it either. Okay, so it's not that. <sighs> if I beat the game, I'm not going to beat the game. Like, I can put on music, different music, if y'all want. For this, but... Phoenician puzzle. Found in a tomb in Iran, this ancient game was supplied as entertainment during the departed trip through the underworld. You can conquer this ancient game while you're still alive if you carefully watch the score. Ten points are given for a correct symbol in the proper position, and one point is awarded for a correct symbol in the wrong position. Pull the lever to begin. Alright. So we don't have to listen to it for this part. So there are four, five, six, seven, eight. No, there's there's like ten different symbols. Okay, so one of them is in the right spot, and two of them are the correct symbols. So... Yeah, the the whole thing resets each time you do it. So once you once you use up, if you don't solve it by this, the whole thing resets and you start from the very beginning. Okay. So if I set that and then change So we'll set that that to that and then change these bird and gila monster so now we're back to 12 
So one of these two is in the correct spot. Oh no, the so the hand was in the correct spot. So the hand is definitely the one at the top. And either the mask or the, the dog thing is correct. And then the so if we if we put like the the bird here and then bird gila 22 okay so what's the difference between 21 and 22 So the Gila monster is there. So it's it's definitely hand mask. So those those two are set. And then this one is probably Gila Monster. Bird. And dog thing. No? Okay, one of these doesn't belong. sure if, if donkey's even on the board or not so is this one mask then So, so dog thing isn't even on the board, I don't think. So I've tried bird in every spot but this one. And then for these two... Uh... Well, the same symbol. Yeah, that that could be it. it. It might not be exactly the same as Mastermind, though. Because this is the ancient Phoenician version.
13. So by getting... So bird... Maybe maybe this one is Gila Monster then? And then this is this is like bird. And and maybe dog thing isn't even in it. And then this is Donkey. 30. Okay. 30. Alright, so Bird is definitely up there. I'm assuming Gila Monster is there. So, so Bird and Mask, I believe, are in the right spot. So it's probably just Hand. Hand and Gila Monster, perhaps, need to be switched. Even though these two were in the same spot before, and they... So those were in the right spots then. So hand is definitely there. Gila monster is definitely there. And then one of the other symbols is just completely incorrect then. Those two, get the monster. So this is this is not bird. This might be spider or not, no. Okay. So what does this have in common with the other ones? Nothing. So perhaps the spider goes there? And then there's a matter of this. So what hasn't it been there? It hasn't been the spider. It hasn't been the Gila monster. So it might be the Gila monster. But no, the, the Gila monster has been in this spot before. And that was a one. So maybe there's two Gila monsters? 30 again. So those, those three are correct. And that's not the spider. So it's just the top one and the middle one that I I kind of have to YOLO, it seems. So it might be dog thing from the looks of things. That one looks like it's going to be dog thing. And then this, this top one. Maybe it is hand. Maybe it is hand. Yes! 
Yes! <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. Uh. Holy shit. Wait. I don't want to play again. No. I don't want to play again. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Holy shit. I can't believe I got that first try on the last one on a YOLO. <laughs> the world's greatest mysteries are merely puzzles waiting to be solved. The puzzle room is Professor Windlenot's favorite exhibit. If you can solve the last puzzle here, you will have discovered the museum's most precious secrets. Okay. Uh, so I've never seen this room because I never solved that puzzle when I was uh, when I was a kid. So this is all new to me. Uh. All right, later, anime Steven Seagal. Have a good one. Uh... Yeah, I, I figured there wouldn't be duplicates either, but that, that was the conclusion I came to, was that there had to be, based off of previous... Uh... Okay, so there's an open spot there, I guess. Okay, so these these get flipped by two. Okay. And there's no music for this one for some reason, so we'll we'll do that. Uh so they they skip two? How the fuck, how are you supposed to know which direction it's going to go? Like, like, oh. I'm going to have to write all these down? Shit. Uh, okay. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So five is silver, six is blue, seven is purple, eight is wood grain, nine is pink. Okay. So this one is... Uh, All right, I'm gonna have to make like a, a chart for this. Shit. Okay, so left, left and right. All right, so so here's the, what the chart's gonna look like. Uh. So if I if I hit the left one here, it goes three, three spaces. So hitting the left one moves it three spaces. 
Hitting the right one. Alright, later, Icarus. Hitting the right one makes it go one space to the right. Left one is three spaces. The right one is left one. Okay, so so far, three spaces has been a commonality here. All right, then that one goes right one space. So that was four. So five is an empty one. So let's see where that goes. Okay, so that goes three spaces from the left side. The right side goes left three. Goes left one. And left three. Seven is right one. And then left three. Eight is right one. And probably left three. Nope, left one. Okay, this one is left one. And left three. Okay, so now now we know the behavior of each one. And now it's time to get really frustrated as I try and figure this out. Oh, shit. Okay. So, we need to match balls with where they want to go. So, first things first is we can move the orange one into here. So this is this is silver. This is blue, purple, wood green, pink, green. Yellow, uh, orange, red. Okay, so from blue, hitting the left one will make it go over one. And then in order to move to this one, we could left three. So we could get the yellow one into there. Or we could put the red one in there. Probably we're going to want to put the red one in there. Or not. Just joking. Ha ha ha. Okay. Why did I mark down the... the... Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay. And then... So can we move over this one one? We can. What? Green? That's supposed to be Oh. Alright, so how can we get 
shit. I can't move any of them into there. <laughs> uh, so silver, we can not do that. Okay, that frees up blue. So pink. So we can't move that one. I think I've already screwed up. I've already screwed up. Okay. So starting... Starting that way is no good. So we have to start off with red being moved into there. I think I'm I think I might be doing exactly what I was doing before. Uh Yeah, I I think I'm doing exactly what I was doing before. Shit. Silver silver left 3. So that yeah, that's not going to put that in the right spot. Okay, that gets that there. Okay. <laughs> yep, we'd love to play a game of Lucky Hit. That um that new Shenmu DLC came out, by the way, and if y'all haven't haven't heard of that, what that DLC? Oh man, it's uh. Oh, it's certainly a thing. Uh, there's a reason why I am, uh, why I have not purchased it and and streamed it because, <sighs> boy. Uh. Okay, what does green do? So this will go into the purple. You know nothing about Shenmue 3.1? Well, the the first official DLC for Shenmue 3 is it turns the whole game into a foot race game. <sighs> yep. It, it's a it's a foot race. You just you just hold down the run button. And you race, you you run around Bailu Village in a, a timed foot race. I, I wish I were joking. Like, how about some DLC for removing all of the, the Kickstarter shit and putting in an actual story? Like, that would have been an amazing DLC. Okay, so we can only move three at a time. So I can I can move red into there, but that's not gonna to do anything. So we can we can either move these three at a time or one at a time. Uh Okay, so we can we can get the green one into place here. So that's that's where it needs to be. So now what? So we can move the orange one over there. That one over there. This one over there to where it needs to be. So we can... Left. So this is what, green? So can we go left three on any of these? So this blue, can we go left three? We can. So we, we hit right on this and it'll put yellow right there. Okay. And then purple. We can only go either right one or left three, so that's not gonna work. This one can be put there. 
wood grain, we can move to the right by hitting left on that. Okay. I have a feeling I need to I need to put the red ball into there. But why I need to do that, I'm not sure. Maybe to, to move this one out of the way? I might have completely screwed this up by doing this. Guys, I think I goofed real bad here. Oh, shit. Because now we can't get anything over there. <laughs> we, can, we can move the orange one over. And we can move this one over. We can move the what's in the blue spot over to three by hitting the right one. So all of this is just to just shuffle the, the red one. All right, purple, we can move to the right. Pink. We can move into there. Red over to there. This we can move over into the right. That over. No. No. That can either go left one or left three. So the only thing I can go into the this is what's in wood grain. Actually, maybe I do want to put wood green one in there and then put this right there and put this no so this one can only go left so in order to get anything into into pink here it has to be in the wood green slot And so I need, I need to get the pink one into silver eventually. Silver hit the left one. Yeah, it's pretty good. Blue left one. Need to move green over there. Oh, the blue on the right. Okay. And then this one on spot right um, left okay and we move purple to the right one by hitting left we need to get the the wood grain marble in green over to there okay all right silver so we could either go left three or forward three there's nothing else we can do with silver so in order to do that, we need to clear up the orange space. OK. 
Okay. The left one right here. Okay. All right, and then we'll move. Green over here with left one. We'll move the blue one. Shit. Shit. I, uh, so this can only move forward or back one. This can move to the right one or back three. This can move back three or forward one. So we'll do that. We'll put this, this here. Yeah, the problem here is that the whatever's in the blue space. Can only move left, so this can only move left. And it can only move left three. Okay. So green can move forward three over there. Okay. Green. And the right one. Right one. So this can go right one. And then we can move orange back into the green spot. By hitting this. Okay. Alright, blue. Blue can only go left. So, shit, I, I think I messed up. Uh, I need to get this, this yellow one moved. This one can only move one spot forward or back. Blue can only move back, and it can move back one spot. Okay. That one there. So this we can move there, directly into that. Green we can move into the orange spot. Move, move over there. Okay, this we can move to not where I need it to be. Shit. 
Purple can go left three. Okay, that can go there. This this orange one is really fucking things up. Oh my god. This puzzle. Like if I if I move the wood grain one over one. It feels like I'm just doing the same moves over and over again. I can't shake that feeling. Uh, blue, so we can go left three from blue. So if I move the purple one from yellow. So we can we can get this one back on the other side. So then purple. So this one can move three spots to the left. This can move one to the left. So this can go to green. Oh man, this is <laughs> this is racking my brain right now. Uh Shit. This could probably be done like so quickly too if you just knew exactly where to move things. But I am not that smart. This was not a Professor Layton puzzle. Man, I might have to sleep on this one. <laughs> Time is it four? Yeah, I. Oh god, I might have to tap out on this one. It is is too late in the day, and I actually need to get up early. Yeah, it's like that. The what? You remember the last the last door puzzle I did, right? From the uh, from Skull Monkeys. Do you remember the the rat and the cheese puzzle? Anybody remember that? And it, and I ended up brute forcing it, and there ended up being a, a super easy way to solve it. <laughs> Remember that? Oh fuck. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna call this for tonight because, she it. All right. I'm gonna look away from that and and hard save it. Okay, well, at least I wrote down what each thing does, unless it randomizes again when I reload the save, which it, it could do. It could do. Oh, boy. Yeah, we made a lot of progress. And, and all that. I finally defeated that, uh, that, um, mastermind puzzle from my, uh, from my childhood. Finally. And now I'm defeated by a new puzzle. <laughs> Shit. All right. Cut the timer here. All right. So. That'll do it for tonight. So we 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 started and finished, or I finished, with uh, with Gunship. So that was Peace Explosion number 201. Uh, number 202 is Machine Head, which is... Uh, pull up that real quick. Machine Head is this game that one so it's this like first person tank shooter one uh it's um it's an interesting game it's got really bad controls so look forward to it also interestingly enough this is one of the few games that i've seen that just says memory card in it how many blocks it requires i don't know Maybe it takes up a literal whole memory card. Who knows? It might take one 
one block, it might just check to see if you have a memory card and then give you passwords anyways. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, when we play it. And then uh, game number... Uh, PS Explosion number 203 is Civilization 2. Let's, uh... Let's see if I still have the... The thing open for it. Uh, this one. Yep, there it is. Civilization 2. Whoa, that's Klonoa. Okay, don't worry about that. <laughs> that would have been the next one that it got picked. So sorry, Klonoa fans. You just missed it by one, apparently. But yeah, Civilization 2 is is game number 202. Or 203 in uh, in Peace Explosion. And yeah, that one, that one should be a real pant load. Because, oh boy, strategy games. <laughs> so... So yep, that'll uh, that'll be that. So the next stream that, oh god, I accidentally clicked on exit. Um, so the next next stream that I do, probably not going to be tomorrow because I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. Uh, so probably the day after that. Um, probably still not Steel Battalion because I I'm still using the desk that Steel Battalion would be on. Uh, so it's probably going to be Machine Head, and then. Probably more shivers. We're, we're probably maybe going to beat shivers in the next sitting. So look forward to that, I guess. And I'm still undecided as to what the next backlog game is going to be. Um, I'll decide that in, in the future. Uh, it might end up being the the amazing Wonder Book game, though. We'll see. Because that, that'll be a nice, nice stress three. Actually, Wonder Book games, plural. There's multiple Wonder Book games. So who knows? I haven't decided if it'll be that, though. So, who knows? Okay. So, anyways, enough of me rambling. I hope you all have a great DNI morning and evening, wherever you are. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. Goodbye. I'm going to make sure to actually click end stream tonight. So, sorry, everybody who was trying to watch the YouTube VOD last time. <laughs> My bad. I'll click the button this time. All right. See you later.